I can sit you down and whip you with logic. You know that. And that is why your scholars are not stepping forward. Thank you all for the support. I appreciate this. Thank you. This is Baba Shride, the correctional officer. And watch me deal with the mushriks. I'll force them to play nonsense and they will step forward, inshallah. So, Baraz Billahi Mina Shaitan Rajim. Hazi Sabili Adu Ilallah. Allah Basiratin. Ana Wamani Tabani Wasuba Ana Lahi Wama Ana Midal Mushrikin. You all know the mushriks, right? The sectarians, uh, aka Sunni mushriks. Okay. So we go. <clears throat> This is my way I invite to Allah by perception. Um, that's why every intellectual person watching me, you know how I use my perception, right? My intelligence, my logic. I invite you to the way of God by perception. I and whoever follows me and glory be to Allah for I am not among the mushriks. Min allazi farraku dinahum. You know them, right? Min allazi farraku dinahum. You know them, right? The Shia, the Sunni, the... Keep, keep, you know the list. Just type it for me. <laughs> so now i want to read a small uh message here for my people uh this this is just it's an important piece i want especially especially this message goes to my african brothers uh listen to this message carefully this goes to you my african brothers right and sisters sorry now the problem is it is not that uh, black people don't want the truth. That is not the case. It is not that we don't want the truth, like mainly. It's not that black people don't want the truth. Uh, some just don't want to accept it from someone who looks like them or that looks like them. Not all of black people. Some, they, ju they just don't want the truth from someone who looks like them. They have been conditioned for centuries to believe that the deceitful people who brutally colonized them and enslaved them are the authorities of all the truth. So far as it is not coming from another black man like them or black person like them. Now this is the conditioning of the mentally enslaved African today. So when another black man wants to liberate his people, the first people to show him hatred are not a different race, or it's not the different race, but rather his own people. So a word to a wise is enough. So now there is a, there's this, uh, what will I say? An emotional miscreant. An emotional miscreant. AKA Siddiq, the Hadithiyun Mushrik. He's a Mushrik because he claims he's a Salafi. Salafia, <laughs> who is a Sunni again. And I'm going to break him down, right? I'm going to crush him. And you see how embarrassed he will be, right? Okay. So I'm going to play his video. He was calling me a kafir. And ladies and gentlemen, he said, whoever, whoever is agreeing with me, including you, the guys who agree, who agree with me now, he calls you kafirs. We are going to ask the Quran and we are going to ask him, the bozo, <laughs> who is a kafir. We are going to see. So I'm going to uh, be playing the videos. But unfortunately, for those on TikTok, you might not uh, get to see it. Uh, but you hear it, right? You listen. But when you watch the playback, uh, later you get to see every, every evidence, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to put his video. One who has any shaka, any doubt that this guy is a kafir, that person, man, shaka fi kufri hi fahuwa kafiru. Anyone who doubts that this guy is a kafir, he himself is a kafir. So there's no two ways of spreading your legs in doubt whether he's a kafir or not. The moment you see anyone supporting this guy is a kafir like him. Well, like anyone who have any shaka, any doubt that this guy is a kafir, that person, man, shaka fi kufri hi fahuwa kafiru. Anyone who doubt that this guy is a kafir, he himself is a kafir. 
So there's no two ways of spreading your legs in doubt whether he's a cancer or not. The moment you see anyone supporting this guy, it's a cancer like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you as would allow a devil wakil, as would allow a devil wakil. Uh, guys, I played the, the video of the of the mushrik, right? <laughs> and I gave him a filter. Unfortunately, those on TikTok, you will not see, but watch the playback on YouTube, please. I apologize, I apologize for this inconvenience. Watch the playback. I gave him a filter and the filter fits him very perfectly, right? He's calling me a kafir and he said, whoever of you agree with me, you are a kafir too. No problem because he's a mushrik already. So a mushrik, imagine a mushrik tagging you a kafir, no problem. We are going to use the Quran to whip them with logic. So he says, I'm a kafir and he says, whoever is listening to me, you are a kafir. And then he made a way like, whoever, you don't no need to spread your legs. And I put the filter because he looked like a gay. Sorry, sorry to say. <laughs> he looked gay when he did that expression. The spreading your legs left and right. Don't need to have a doubt. So he said, I'm a kafir. So that's why I gave him the filter. Because he's acting like, you know, homo, right? So no problem. So he said, I'm a kafir. I, I wasn't offended by that. So I gave him a crobetto to laugh at him a bit, right? I'm not offended by that. So if, if a mushrik is calling me kafir, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> okay. So again, he said, and then he said, I'm worse than Christians. So I'm going to play that video again. He said, I'm worse. I'm worse than Christians. So listen. Verse 52. Now, what is in chapter 42? Quoting the Quran like a Christian. I uh, say like a, uh, how do you call it? Uh, like a, like the Christian. For him, there is, the Christians are even better than him. He's even worse than the Christians and the Jews. And the Asali, the Mushrikun, natural Mushrikun, is, they are better than him. Let's listen to it again. Chapter 42, verse 52. Now, what is in chapter 42? Quoting the Quran like a Christian. You know? Uh, I say like a, uh, how do you call it? Uh, like a, like the Christian. Do. For him, there is the Christians are even better than him. He is even worse than the Christians and the Jews. And the asali, the mushrikun, natural mush mushrikun is he, they are better than him. Akui, Akui, Akui. This homo. <laughs> he said, I'm quoting the verse like a Christian. And he said, I'm worse than the Christians and the Jews. And again, he went again, he called me a mushrik, right? <laughs> and he's even say, I'm a natural mushrikud. So it means there's a fake mushrik and there's a natural one. There's, you know, imitation. And, you know, he knows that because he, he has the experience. He's a mushrik. So he knows that you know the difference so he's categorizing he says i'm the natural mushiroku <laughs> hey yakoi okay <laughs> as would allow a new uh, so guys since he said he passed a judgment and he said i'm a kafir and he says whoever is listening to me you are a kafir and then he again says, I'm worse than Christians and Jews. And again, he said, I'm of the Mushrikun, the natural Mushrikun. Let's listen to the Quran, what the Quran has to tell this bozo, the dummy. Let's listen to it. So I'm going to take you to Surah Al Ma'idah, right? And I'm going to read the last part of the verse. Where he says, Woman lam yakum bima anzalallahu for ula ikya umul wat kafirun. He says, Woman lam yakum bima anzalallah for ula ikya umul kafirun. 
The verse says, and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed or has sent down, then those are the what? Kafirun. When we say kafirun, disbelievers, ungrateful ones. They are the disbelievers. Right? So if you ask this bozo, this mushrik, this homo, I just played his video. If you ask him, Baba Shraib, you say he's a kafir. Why is he a kafir? He'll say, because he rejects the books of our slave masters. That is why he is a kafir. Right? He will say, that is why he is a kafir. <laughs> if you ask him one on one, prove it. Show me a verse in the Quran where Baba Shraib is a kafir. He can't. But I can show him a verse where he is a mushrik. Don't worry, I'm the correctional officer. You watch and enjoy the show. Now, this bozo, I'm going to put his picture on the page. Right? I'm going to put his picture here. Watch this bozo carefully and, um, and see something. So, unfortunately, for those on TikTok, when I share it, you will not see it. Right? So, kindly watch the playback right uh-huh so I i'm going to send the guy back to you know madrasa again because he claims he has all the books behind him so i'm going to show the picture and then i'm going to explain to you right okay so this is the picture of the bozo when when i say bozo please look it up b-o-z-o -O. and then he's a dummy and he's a miscreant right look it up miscreant bozo dummy you look look it up i wouldn't use words like madman lunatic no no i'm beyond that you remember the prophet was told the same right madman lunatic crazy man remember he they called my prophet majinun so how much less baba shrive come on i love it keep calling me but you are offended that a madman you are tagging got you irritated as we allow you will work it. So that is the mushrik on the screen. He claims he's a Salaf. And he's part of the Salafiya, which was coined out of the Sunni cult. Right? So this Sunni cult, this is a 19th century cult. 19th, listen carefully. 19th century cult. If you go to Quran chapter 27, verse 91, the Prophet says, Wa umirtu an akuna min al -muslimi that I have been commanded to be of the what? Muslims. That is submitters. This is what the prophet says. So me, Baba Shraib, I'm following the Millat Ibrahima as said in the Quran, Quran chapter 2, verse 130, right? God says, Woman yargabu an millat Ibrahima illa man safiha nafsahu. Who will desire other than the creed of the Nabi Ibrahima, if not one who fools himself? So a Salafi is a fool. Because he's fooling himself. A Sunni is a fool because he's fooling himself. Your prophet never claimed to be a Salaf. Your prophet never claimed to be a Sunni. Who are you then? A Mushrik. Who is a Mushrik? We are going to check. So before I go to the chapter 30, verse, verse 30, uh, 32, before I go there, chapter 30, verse 32, look at this bozo here. You just check. I don't want to say he looks like a baboon, but you can make your own decision. Look at the books behind him. This is what, when I say garbages, he's frustrated. <laughs> you see the books behind him? Huh? For those on YouTube or Facebook, look at the garbages behind him. <laughs> and he leave what God says, Ahsan al-Hadith, Quran chapter 39, verse 23. The best Hadith, Allahu nazzal al-Ahsan al-Hadith. He left that one. Right? He left that one. And he put the garbages behind him. You see? Now, these are garbages. Now, this is what his slave masters gave him. And he thinks that this is knowledge. And I'm going to break down. I'm going to all through the books he used. You will see how I'll break it down. I'll mess him up. I needed a scholar, but they sent a bozo. <laughs> Let me give you a, a crumble to before I move on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, 
you fall in the hands of Baba Shrive, the correctional officer, you watch and enjoy the show. Now, so you've seen the picture of the bozo, the dummy, the miscreant, right? <clears throat> I'm going to play, he's a self. So I'm going to play this, their scholar, not him, because he is not a scholar, right? <laughs> Maybe I think he's a cleaner, right? Uh -huh. So let's play their scholar, who is a self. Of course, he doesn't claim to be a self publicly, but he is, because you know them by how they speak and what they say. It's simple as it is, right? Okay. So this scholar of theirs who represent their ideology, remember these same people in Africa, they are the terrorist groups. They create the terrorist groups, right? The Salafi movement. They are the extremists when it comes to Sunnism cult. They are the extremists. They are the ones who do takfir on people, the Salafs. If you don't know, read it up, watch it up, look it up. You understand what I mean, the Salaf. So this guy is the indoctrination, out of the indoctrination of these Salafs, he is the embodiment of that in Ghana as well. But unfortunately, he's not a scholar, right? So, that, so let's let's deal with the scholar, right? Okay. So I'm going to play Zakir Naik's video now. Listen to Zakir Naik carefully. I'm going to play. Listen to him carefully, please. I have not gone to any Islamic university, no Islamic school, no Islamic college, no Islamic university. But I'm giving talks. Thousands are coming. Ten thousands are coming. I don't know Arabic as a language, number two. I'm not Hafizul Quran. Many people think I'm Hafizul Quran, I'm not. I have not gone to any Islamic university. No Islamic school, no Islamic college, no Islamic university, but I'm giving talks. Thousands are coming, ten thousands are coming. I don't know Arabic as a language, number two. I'm not Hafizul Quran. Many people think I'm Hafizul Quran, I'm not. So we, we had their own scholar, because this kind of guy, like the Siddiq, the Bozo, he venerates such people, this person, because they repre he represents their ideology, the Salaf. Zakir Naik will not sit in public and claim he's a Salaf, but the, the teachings he gives from the Hadith books and the type of Hadith uh, legislations he follow, you clearly see that he's a Salaf. So he represents a Salaf, right? Okay, so this Bozo from Ghana, that homo <laughs> the guy i gave him the filters <laughs> he he is he is also following that footsteps of his slave masters and why did i play zakir naik's video i played it because this bozo venerates zakir naik so we are going to use zakir naik and then i pass on my judgment right so he claimed he doesn't know arabic and he is not an hafiz of the quran and he never went to any islamic university but he's giving talks and lectures. Over 10,000 people are coming to Islam. So what is the epitome of what he said? What is the importance of what he said? The essential part is, it's not about knowing Arabic. It's not about being a Hafiz. It's not about uh, going to Islamic university. It's about how your talks can impact people's heart and they follow the truth, right? Did you see the logic there? I didn't put this video to, to laugh at Zakir Naik or to insult Zakir Naik. I respect him. But I'm using this video against the bozo, <laughs> the baboon. Uh, so we are going to go deal with the baboon itself. Like I said, Zakir Naik never claims to be a self publicly, but he is. I can prove that. But he is. But he are not here for Zakir Naik. And people know that, right? So now let's go back to this bozo. We are going to give him a verse from the Quran. Quran chapter 30, verse 32. So let's see. I share the screen and I give you Quran chapter 30, verse 32. So let's see what the Quran says, right? So God started by saying from Quran chapter uh, 30, verse 31 to 32. He says, Munibina ilayhi. Then he says, What the uhu? Then he says, Wa akimu, uh, wa akimu salata, wa la takunu minal mushirkin. He says, be repentant to him, beware of him, that is reference him, and establish the salat, and do not be among the idolaters, the mushriks. Who are the mushriks? The ones who do shirk, who associate something with something. If God says, follow my book, they say, no, Ahi, you can't follow this book without our garbage books. So please take this garbage book we selected for you, add it to your Islam, and you are perfect. 
after god says al yawma akmaltu lakum dinakum wa atmamtu alaykum nimati wa raditu lakum al islam dina but these bozos the mushriks they said ah no you need our sunnah and our garbage books okay so let's go ahead verse 32 who are the mushriks min al lazina farraqu dinahum wa kanu shia'a kullu hizb bima ladayhim farhun now what does the verse mean it says among those who have differentiated they are what hello they are deen they are religion and what and became sects we have the sunni sects we have the shia sect ahmadiyya sect tijaniya sect and out of their foolishness they have been proud that out of from their garbage books the prophets say, oh there will be division of up to 73 only one is right hello which one is right they say sunnah <laughs> And the worst part, the one from the 19th century, the Salafia movement's 19th century, not even 8th century after the prophet time, not even 9th century, 19th century, they are claiming they are representing Sunnah, subhanAllah. So each party rejoicing, being proud huh, in what it has. The Salafia is proud, the Mushriks are proud, I told you, I told you they are a cult, right? So that is why Zakir Raik is embarrassed to apply to accept publicly that he is a Salaf, but he is, and he's a Sunni. And he doesn't want to say it out, but we know, right? It's clear as day and night. So the Bozo who claim he is going to right, decipher my video, I'm going to decipher back and teach him the Lisan Arab book he's going to take. Oh my God, you fail, seriously. You fail, basa, 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 basa. So let's deal with you. So now we can see why they are Mushriks. And I'm showing you because he admits he's a Salaf and he admits he's a Sunni. So now I just broke you down with the Quran. God says in Quran chapter 5, verse 44, Woman lam yahkumu bima anzalallah fa ula ikahumul kafirun. He is a kafir. He called me kafir without a proof. If you ask him where, he will quote Hadith, his garbage book. And I'm quoting the Ahsan al Hadith, the best Hadith. Where is it? The Quran, chapter 39, verse 23. Okay, now let's move to this. Uh, let's 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 let me tell you one thing. The guy made videos emotionally insulting me, slandering, and and then whenever you see somebody emotionally doing that, it means the person has been touched. And I told you most of the times in my videos, I told you ever since Allah guided me. Listen, ever since Allah guided me. No wise person has ever, ever insulted me. Check the records and see. <laughs> it's clear as day and night. Wallahi lazim. Ever since Allah gave me guidance, no wise person has ever, ever insulted me. So you go and check my check TikTok page. Do you see the insult? Go and click on the pe people's profile. Who insult me? Check their background. Check them. <laughs> and come back to this bozo. <laughs> He says, I'm a madman. No problem. Let's do it. Madman speak and it hurts in your feelings. <laughs> Call you a madman kafir. Oh, my God. Ah, Siddiq Bozo, don't do that. Oh, my God. So someone said, Baba Shwai, the guy is calling you lunatic. He's calling you insane. He's calling you a madman and other names. No problem. Baba Shwai, I'm saying no problem because he's hurt. I can understand him. So let's have some sympathy for him. I can understand Sadiq the Bozo, right? I can understand why he's hurt. Do you know why? Because when you strike someone to the core, huh? when you strike someone to the core, what happens? Listen, what they have to do is to slander you with emotions. I have all his videos when it comes to the slandering, where he called me madman, lunatic. I kept all. But let me tell you why I kept it. You see, he forgot that even the prophet himself, alayhi salam, was called a madman, majnoon, by the mushriks. And we are repeating the same thing. Baba Shwaib is less than the prophet, and mushriks are calling me majnoon. No problem. But you are hurt by what majnoon says. Hasbunallah wa nimul wa They are hurt. And what majnoon show you are showing, sharing my videos, and then being proud, 
that me, I'm Majnun, and you are giving me an answer and you are hurt? So you are hurt by what a madman says? Excuse me, the last time I checked, when a madman says something, you are replying him. What does that make you? Super mad. Okay. So a fan, a fan told me, Baba Shrive, you should sue the guy for defamation since you have the, his videos of insulting you publicly that you are a madman, you are insane, you are this. I have the proof, right? Don't worry. But let me tell you what I'm thinking. I was like, hey, mm, seal this bozo for defamation. What will I get from him? He lives in Ghana, number one. Number two, he is broke. <laughs> number three, he only has garbage books. You saw the video, the picture, right? He has garbage books of his slave masters to sell in order what? To compensate me, to pay me. Do I need that? I live in one of the best countries in the world, Finland. So why waste my time for this bozo, this dummy, this miscreant? Baba Shrive is beyond that. But I will get him at the right time. I have the videos. He can wipe out from his wall. No problem. I have the videos. He insulted me publicly with my picture showing. If I have to sue this guy for the information, come on. The scholars will be scared to also do the same. So give them the chance to call me lunatic, madman, and they are rather emotional. No problem. Let's go ahead. I'm going to play his video again. This bozo, I'm going to play his video, right? So let's listen to the bozo again, what he has to say. Uh, the bozo said this. You know, because he has not learned the Quran, he can't recite the Quran. So it's English he's using and Google. So he, he has done this over some time. So the misguidance, uh, how do you call it? He's doing, you know, he goes to Google and type things. Let's listen to the bozo again. So, you know, because he has not learned the Quran, he can't recite the Quran. So it's English he's using and Google. So he, he has done this over some time. So the misguidance, uh, how do you call it? He's doing, you know. He goes to Google and type things. No problem. Sadiq, the bozo, you finish. Now it's my turn. So the bozo has finished speaking. He said, I cannot recite the Quran. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching me for how many minutes now? What was I doing? What are, I was reading and reciting, right? You, you watch, watch watching me. What was I reading? The Bible? Oh, the last time I checked, I wasn't reading the garbage books your scholars gave you, the Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. That was not what I was reading. And neither the Bible. I was reading the Quran. He said, I cannot recite. So this is the people, people are rejoicing. This is the person people are rejoicing. He is, you will see how I will shank him down. <laughs> Correctional officer. Allah <laughs> Kabaru. So he played my old videos, the ones I did three or four years ago. Uh, three or four years ago. What did he do? And I'm going to tell you what he did. So he played those videos and says, I cannot recite the Quran properly. He used the word properly, okay, at that time. So just because I don't use their tajweed, or quote-unquote to say their tajibush, <laughs> I call it tajibush, because if you say tajweed, it sounds so like a you know ghetto uh -huh, weed. Like, uh -huh. So it's rather you say tajibush, and you remember I'm bush 2G9, right? Baba, Baba Bush, right? <laughs> so I will, reach, I will use Tajibush. So me using Tajibush, the Mushriks are infuriated. How come this guy doesn't recite Quran like us? Why is he spoiling the Quran like that? Since, oh, well, I'm not a Mushrik. I don't belong to your cult. I do it my own way. You don't like it? Go and bend the sea. We are going to deal with you. Oh my God. These Mushriks are dummies. For real. Husband Allah when he was working. So now, let's just say I cannot recite or read the Quran properly. Let's let's agree, huh? Huh? hypothetically, huh? hypothetically, let's agree I cannot recite the Quran properly. No problem. And I'm going to show you something, right? So let's agree. Hypothetically, I said, hypothetically, according to them, let's agree I cannot recite it correctly. So now let's see something. Now watch him struggle to read just a passage from Arabic. I'm going to play his video. Watch him. He played my videos of three, four years ago. And he said I was struggling. He just did a video just two days ago. 
watch him i'm going to play his video watch him struggle to read one passage from arabic language husband allah wa dimun wakil hey this bozo you are fell in the wrong trap bozo you fell in the wrong hands qala abu mansur dhahaba bihi ila ila qawlihim thughr ratul ratalun idha kana idha kana husn tanzid oh sidiq bozo why are you struggling guys he's struggling he said i cannot recite the quran at all he said it you i played his video you saw it right he didn't even, and then he went ahead somewhere to, like, in his video to say i cannot even recite it properly no problem now this is him sidiq can you read one passage from arabic language Aga. قال ابو منصور ذهب به الى الى قولهم ثغر رتل رتل اذا كان اذا كان حسن التنظيم I feel like crying eh eh الله بشرك يا Now somebody will say why are you laughing at him I'm not laughing at him let me tell you why I'm laughing this is kisas I'm doing retaliation right He started first. So let me retaliate. One passage from Arabic you are struggling. This is you who claim you are Hafiz. You are struggling to read one passage from Arabic language. One passage. Now, why are you laughing Baba Shai? Why did I laugh? Why do you think I'm laughing? So it means so we all have injuries, huh? Which means no one is perfect. Oh, is that the case? So we all have injuries and no one is perfect. So then Sidiq Bozo, why will you put my video and say I'm struggling and four years video, you put four years of video of correctional officer. Why didn't you take my new video me re reading Quran now or reciting Quran now and you said I'm struggling and you one passage. If you live a, in a glass house, please don't throw stones. Because Correctional officer lives in a metal house. If I throw back, bling. <laughs> uh, let's give him a crowbar too. Allah said, "Dig bozo, kaji diki, kafto life." Allah na messing ka up rough. As we allow what you want to I'm enjoying this show. Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to quote their own the hadith book, right? I'm going to quote the hadith book. Now, this hadith book is Sahih Al Bukhari, four thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven, right? Aha, uh -huh. I have the all the collection of their hadith books. Whoever wants, you can uh, contact Baba Shwaib. I'll give you a copy, right? Ah, huh? I have a copy. All the copies they have, the original copies, meaning. the ones muhsin khan the scholar the sunni scholar muhsin khan the one he actually translated to english i have all the copies with the arabic and english version right if you need a copy contact the correctional officer you have a free copy they are selling it i'll give you free copy okay so <clears throat> i'm going to quote their hadith book right now when i said their hadith book let me show you the front page so that you know i have the original copy i'm not here to play with your logic conscious right I'm going to show you that I have the original copies of the garbage books. <laughs> so let's see. Let me show you that I have their book, right? It's not like I'm joking to tell you, oh, I, I you know, I went to Google to take something. So for those on Facebook and YouTube, this is Sahih Al Bukhari, translated from Arabic to English, done by Muhammad Muhsin Khan, who is another Sunni, right? So he did the translation. to english right okay so i'm going to take you to the hadith passage where i'm going to read right so hadith number 4937 i recited the quran 4 years ago 3 years ago i made i, I made a slip up because they don't under, the mushriks don't understand what slip up is so when i made a slip up he is mocking me that i cannot recite the quran he doesn't even know the difference between read and recite but no no problem because reciting is from the memory reading is when you are watching 
So he said, I cannot recite well, whilst I was reading. So he couldn't even know the difference. No wonder he said he doesn't understand English properly. So I'll play the video so you see it. So now this is the hadith I'm sharing on the screen. Unfortunately, those on TikTok and you cannot see it, but Facebook and YouTube, they can see it. So the hadith, I made a claim and say your hadith is according to. You said it is not according to. So we are going to check. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. The book, the mushriks venerate as the best book. And they will tell you after the Quran. But when you are arguing with them, they put it before the Quran. So, haddathana, uh, listen, haddathana Adam. So, Adam narrated to them. It started with Adam, not prophet, uh, not, not Adam, the first, uh, uh, you know, human being created. Not that. The, the Adam they have in their own books. So, haddathana Adam. Then from Adam, haddathana Shu'ubatu. Then it goes, Haddathana a Qatadatu. Kala, Sami'tu Zurarata. Ibna Awfa. Yuhaddithu An Sa'adi bin Hisham. An Aishata An in Nabi. Then the Mushrik will say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No problem. Kala. Mathalu lazi yakra ul Quran. Wahua what? Wahua what? Hafiz. Hafiz. Lahu. Ma as safaratil. Kiramim barara. Wa mathalu lazi yakra ul Quran. Then he says what? Wahua yata ah haduhu. Then he says haduhu. Wahua alayhi shadid. Falahu ajiran. Now, this is the translation Mohsin can give, and I'm going to break it down. Mohsin can't give the translation, even though he did the wrong translation. But I'm going to translate as here he wrote, so that the mushrikus will not say I'm lying. So now this is, when it comes to the translation, the mushriks always take all the, you see, I started by quoting Hadathana Adam, narrated to us by Adam. But in English, you don't see narrated to us by Adam. They shorten it and put narrated Aisha. You see how the mushriks deceive you with, the, with their garbage books. So they will shorten the Arabic and then they will put English and they give you the translation. So it's always according to. But this Bozo, Siddiq Bozo Mushrik doesn't understand English. So he said, I, I keep saying according to, and he doesn't understand the meaning of according to. I'll take you to the English dictionary. You claim you are a university graduate. No problem. I'll take you to English language to teach you simple English that you couldn't comprehend when I said your garbage books are according to. No problem. So now let's see. Narrated Aisha, the prophet said, such a person as recites the Quran, Look at the translation even. The English is kaput. Such a person as recites the Quran and masters it by heart. If you check in the, Quran, uh, the Arabic language, it doesn't say by heart. No problem. Will be with the angels. There is no angels in the Arabic I just read. Honorable and obedient. The word obedient in Arabic was not find, found in the Arabic I read. But this is their translation. I'm not going to add my words for the mushriks to say I lied. <laughs> and by the way, this book to me is, is not a book I will use, right? I have the best hadith, Quran. So I don't need this garbage, right? Mm -hmm. So, and such a person as exerts himself, listening to learn the Quran by heart and recite it with great difficulty, will have a double reward. What did I just read? Look, their own garbage book is saying that if I can read the Quran, and he used the word even recite, the word, the word, the word yakra or use in the Arabic I just read, it is read, it's not recite. Recite, recitation comes from tilawa. So we can say utlu, tatlu, yatlu. That is to recite. But the Arabic I just read from the Hadith book, it says yakra ul Quran. And this translator translated it as recite, which is wrong. It is read, not recite. So anyways, let's take it like that. So if, and I, if you recite the Quran with great difficulty, listen carefully. Sadiq Bozo, hmm? Sadiq Bozo says, I cannot recite the Quran. He even said at all, I cannot recite at all. And he didn't even mention that I cannot recite with, uh, I, I, I'm reciting, I'm not reciting it properly. He didn't even say that. He said, I cannot recite. Okay, so let's see. You took my four years video. 
And when I mention one thing, because I don't have the touch weed, which I'm using touch bush, you are using touch weed <laughs> because you smoke weed. And then you claim I cannot recite the Quran properly. Okay, no problem. Your hadith, your own hadith, is telling you, the mushrik, eh, that if I recite with great difficulty, I have double reward than you. As we allowed you all, okay. Uh, the the you Siddiq the bozo mushrik your own garbage book that I don't believe in is telling you the mushrik that if I recite the Quran with great difficulty if I make mistakes right uh, if it's difficult for me right I will have double reward than you the mushrik and that is why I say this book is garbage you don't understand <laughs> I don't believe in it but the mushrik believes in it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so this is why I call this book garbage. Because this garbage is telling you I have more reward than you. <laughs> so see, they keep being perfect. Eh? A slave of make your slave masters proud that you can read. Eh? Aha. So that is the hadith I just gave you. The hadith says, I have better reward than you. Double. Ajirani. Eh? Double. Okay. So this same hadith I just put on the screen eh? can be found again. Let me show you. This same hadith I just put on the screen can be found in uh, the same, this same hadith, Sunan and Abi Dawood. Let me see if I can put it in. Sunan and Abi Dawood, 1454. I'm going to put it on the screen, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, why is it? Why is it? Yeah, I have it here. I'm going to put it on the screen. Yeah. So for those on uh, Facebook and YouTube, uh, for those on Facebook and YouTube, that is the verse uh, hadith I just put on the screen. Now, they are Imam, Al Imam Albani, uh, originally from Albania. He made this, he's classified this hadith as Sahih because, you know, the Mushriks, they worship their scholars, right? So much. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he classified his hadith. And this is the same version of the hadith I just recited uh, in the Sahih Bukhari. They have another version in their, their. So what happens is, he, this hadith, Sunan uh, Abu Dawood, he says what? One who is skilled, listen, one who is skilled in the Quran is associated with the noble, upright recording angels. And he who falters, uh, falters, when he recites the Quran and finds it difficult, for him will have a double reward. This is what the garbage book is saying. I don't believe in it. The mushriks believe in it. So you, you the mushriks, your book is telling you, even if I recite the Quran and I make mistake, uh, and I falter, so I make slip ups, I will have a double reward. Simple. From your own garbage book. The Quran is enough for me. I don't need garbages. Huh? Okay. So now let's put the garbage out, out because the Quran is enough for us. We don't need garbages. Why would I waste my time when there is a. Uh, huh? Huh? Oh, like. Uh, so now let's move on. Now, what I just showed you is from their own Hadith book. I'm going to play his video and listen what the Siddiq, Siddiq the Bozo, said. I'm playing his video. Listen to the, what the Bozo said. He said, I lie that there is no according to according to. He doesn't understand the meaning of according to. So I'm going to teach him English a little for free. Let's teach him English because he doesn't know the meaning of according to. So let's play according to. Islam was strengthened with its report, with its narration. Our report is not according to. So he said, Islam was strengthened by narrations, by reports. And he said their report is not according to. This is what this guy said. He's a university graduate in Ghana. He doesn't understand English properly. <laughs> Let me play this video. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I feel like crying, eh? I love you, I feel like crying, eh? I love you, Guys, let me go back. <laughs> Our Islam was strengthened with its report, with its narration. 
our report is not according to. <laughs> hey, where is Akrobetu? <laughs> Let's take him to the dictionary to show him the meaning of according to. He doesn't understand according to. So I'm going to help him. Oh, Siddiq. Allah, Siddiq Bozo. Mm. Siddiq Bozo. The dummy. University graduate who doesn't even understand English. So let, let's help him, ladies and gentlemen. He's struggling. So let's help him. He says, their hadith is not according to. I just quoted their hadith in Arabic language. You say, Haddathana, Haddathana Adam, narrated to us by Adam. Then it goes, Aisha, it goes, narrated to us, right? So I'm going to show you the meaning of according to. Simple. This is a, just a basic, even elementary school. But I have to help him for free, no problem, because I teach people for free. So I'm going to help you with according to. Oh, according, or should we start calling him according to? Uh, no problem. Let's just help him for free. According to. Okay. So he says the hadith is not according to. So when we say according as an adjective, as an adjective, you have to add to, right? Okay. So according to, what does it mean? Followed by to is as reported or stated by the word according to. The mushrik bozu, he said the hadith is not according to. Okay, I just read the hadith. You saw it, right? It was according to. He said, no, not according to. So as reported or stated by. So the moment you said hadithana, you can translate it as according to because that is how it is reported or stated by the person. So when we say according to, CD, I'm teaching you for free. University graduates, of course, it's Ghana University you went to. No problem. I'm not saying Ghana University is bad, but... You, <laughs> I think when he was learning, it was in crisis at that time. So maybe when we say according to as reported or stated by, it means narrate the same as narrate is give a detailed account of or to report that is according to. So if I say according to Babs, don't touch this. It means that's how Babs narrated. That's how he said it. That's how he reported it. That's how he stated it. That is according to. So this is just a free lesson. I'm just helping you out. But let's listen to your your hibijibis. Makarechim banza that hadith is according to according to and there is. Ladies and gentlemen, when I showed you the hadith, you saw according to, right? You saw hadathana. That is according to. I just showed you English for free. Classes free. According to it means reported by, stated by. That is same as narrated by. Okay. No hadith that says there's no hadith that says the prophet says you should write on my authority. We've not shown it to you. The prophet said we should write on his authority. And Allah He says the prophet said they should write on his authority. So on his authority, he said you should write Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, those books. Why don't you meet me face to face and prove it? <laughs> we will come to that. Don't worry. I said we should follow him. He says the prophets, God says we should follow the prophet. Okay. Then he quoted Atiullah wa Atiw Rasul, which normally the Mushri cults they do, right? They quote the verses out of context. And that is why their scholars are struggling. For those who have watched my debates and international debates, you know me, right? Uh -huh. Because this is a, he's just amateur, right? Uh -huh. So Allah said we should we should obey him. He said Allah said we should obey him. So him not obey our garbage books. Him. Okay. Kariyam Banza, Kariyam Wufi. Listen to him again. So the Kariyam Banza, Kariyam Wufi goes to you. Right? Because you are the one making the career. Because according to you, you say when God says, Ati Wallah, it means obey the Quran. When God says, Ati Wallah, Rasul, it means obey our garbage books. So Kariyam Banza, Kariyam Wufi, back to the sender. Yes, uh, what can you say about prophetic hadith? Prophetic hadith, they are all... Look, there's no single hadith on earth. Guys, you heard it, right? When they were asked, like someone was asking him, instead of saying, I don't know, he then went ahead to condemn hadith. Let's listen to him again. Please, uh, what can you say about prophetic hadith? Prophetic hadith, they are all lies. Look, there's no single hadith on earth that the prophet actually approved or gave. 
Guys, you heard it. He said there's no single hadith. We presented it to him. You see, he doesn't understand English. I said there is no single hadith on earth which the prophet approved. Then he, he doesn't understand English. So he misquoted me and say, I said there is no single hadith. Listen. So that's why Quran chapter 25 verse 44. It says, do you think that most of them listen or reason? Then God says, Kel an -an. they are just like livestock. I'm not saying it. Allah is saying in the Quran. Him from uh, Muslim Imam Ahmed. Okay, we've presented to him that he's a liar. He said there's no single hadith. He went to his slave masters to bring what that person says. The person who never met prophet, he is passing on a judgment. He is using that judgment of his slave master to say I'm a liar. <laughs> I told you, this guy worship their slave masters. What kind of stupidity is this? You don't know something and dole it. Sheikh Ayy Magana. You see how he's frustrated. You can see the emotions on his face. He said, I'm a madman, but he's frustrated from what a madman says. Hello, the last time I checked, when, a, when you are infuriated by what a madman says, what does that make you? Super mad. Pretty to be written down. No. He never gives Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Jamia three. So when he starts saying Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, giving them. That's where you got to know that he doesn't even know what hadith is. When I opened Sahih Muslim, when we were reading, did you say, see Imam Muslim saying that the prophet told him? So now he admits. Let me let the video finish. Did you hear that? That Imam Muslim said the prophet told me. Would you hear Imam Bukhari saying the prophet told me? So now he admits that they don't have any book which the prophet told them directly because you never find one hadith quotation where he says hadathna nabi or muhammad or rasul you never see it hadathna rasul or nabi or muhammad you never see such a hadith they only have hadathna aisha hadathna uh, hisham hadathna adam hadathna so this is according to according to according to my mushriks i'm here to help you i'm not your enemy siddiq i'm just like you look I'm, maybe i'm handsome than you right for real I'm handsome than you because I saw you insulting me that look at his face. I'm handsome than you. Me and you, if we sit down, you are more likely to be classified as baboon. <laughs> I apologize, guys. <I'm laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just got that part because he did <laughs> he did that in one of the videos, which I have. <laughs> That's what the law will will work you. So now he admits that they don't have None of their scholars said it directly that, uh, you know, that, that <laughs> no, Sahih Muslim doesn't say, Sahih Buhari doesn't say, oh, the prophet gave it to a direct. So why waste your time with book which came over 200 years after your prophet and you are claiming it's part of Islam? Are you not nuts? I call you bozo and you are crying. Go and check my page. He's just commenting all of it. He's the one using Salafia TV. He's pretending to be someone, but that's, he controls the channel. Salafia TV. He thought we don't know. Siddiq, don't cry, eh? I'll force you till you step forward. And when you step forward, that's your end. Go and check my records of debates I've done. You are just a local one. I've done international debate. You are local. So no problem. Let's deal with you locally. Kaji. Okay. So now we finish with this bozo on this on this uh, part. We finish with the bozo. We just taught him little English. He doesn't know the meaning of according to. Uh, yes, one minute. I see you. <laughs> okay. So now the bozo... <clears throat> A university graduate who doesn't know how to draw contrast when it comes to words. A university graduate. I'll commit suicide if that was me. <laughs> now we are going to play his English video. Listen to what he said. He doesn't even know how to use English translation. So no wonder his English is problematic. But let's check. This is what Siddiq Bozu, a.k.a. Salafi Mushrik, a.k.a. Miscreant, a.k.a. Dummy. This is what he said concerning English. Translation. Eh? Not this one. I don't mean English translation. I don't know how to use English translation. But I understand English. Mm. I feel like crying, eh? Eh, I love you, Shirikenga. I feel like crying, eh? Eh, I love you, Shirikenga. He said he doesn't know how to use English translation. A university graduate from Ghana. He doesn't know how to use English, which means if he uses, he will fumble. And he said he understands English. I just taught him what is the meaning of according to. He doesn't know. According to, basic English, according to. He doesn't know. I just taught him. 
guys, you are witnesses to this, right? Free of charge, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move on. Sadiq the Buzu. Ah, uh, you fell, you fell in the, I won't say in the wrong hands. You fell in the correctional officer's hand. That is the right hands. So let me deal with you. Let me educate you so that your scholars can see how I embarrass you. Then they will send somebody better because you are, you are just an amateur, right? So this guy went ahead. When he wanted to disprove me, he quotes, he said, Dwalan, he said, Tartil, he said, uh, 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 Yesla, he said this. Then he went to Lisan and Arab in the Kabarukin. That is where you messed up. You went to Lisan and Arab, a book which was written in the 13th century. The Quran was revealed in the 7th century. You bring a dictionary which is written in the 13th century to come and disprove correctional officer. Oh, they didn't take you, they didn't tell you how much research I've done, right? Sadiq Bozo. Okay, so this guy will take Lisan al Arab. Lisan al Arab is what? It's a dictionary of Arabic language completed by Ibn Manzur in the year 1290, right? So that is the 13th century, which is an Arabic what? Lexicon. That is Lisan al Arab. If you hear that mostly, it is written in Arabic language, right? Lisan al Arab which is an Arabic lexicon, a reference book containing an alphabetical list of words with information about them. So those words, this scholar took them and joined them and made Lisan al-Arab. But let's see how he coined the meaning of words. Where does he evolve from? Does he evolve from the Quran? No. Where did he take his meanings from? We are going to see. So now, Ibn Manzur, what he does is objective, or Ibn Manzur's objective, in his project, uh, in his project was to re-index and reproduce the contents of previous works to facilitate readers' use of and access to them. So this is what Ibn Manzur that did. Uh, let me re remove this bozo on the screen. He has occupied the screen too much. Uh, let's go. So this is what Ibn Manzur Manzur does, right? So now, in his introduction to the book, he writes. In this book, there is nothing unprecedented. Listen carefully. There is nothing unprecedented in the book of Ibn Manzur. Then he said, nor is there a particular methodology I hold other than that I gathered that had, which had been what? Dispersed. Uh, dispersed. Then he says, in those academic books. I did not include any other text. So let anyone who cites my book understand that he is citing these five other sources. So if you take Lisan al Arab and you are citing a reference from, that reference has a place is coming from again. And th that place is coming from is not from the Quran. So we are going to see. So these sources, what are they? They have Tadib al Luga of what? Azhari. That is Azhari. They have his book, which is Tadib al Luga. Then we have Al Muhkam of Ibn Wat, Sida. Then we have Al Nihaya of what? Ibn Athir. Then we have and uh, Jauris Siha. Huh? Then it goes, as well as Kitabu Al Tambi Wal Ida. Huh? That is by Ibn Barri. All these books are not from the Quran, neither are they inspired by the Quran. All these books. Now, I'm going to show you something. Understand, none of these books I just mentioned, none of them were derived from the Quran. Now, listen, what you don't understand is, Lisan al-Arab is a book written in the 13th century. The Quran is a book revealed in the 7th century. Do you see the gap? 7th, 13th. Do you see the gap in between? Okay. I'm going to quote the Quran. This bozo, he called the Lisan and Arab as original Arabic. You see the dummy? You are calling Lisan and Arab. Lisan and Arab, 13th century, original Arabic language. I'll play your video, Sidiq. Don't worry. <laughs> Correctional officer. Okay. Quran chapter 16, verse 103. Let's teach this bozo something. He doesn't understand. Quran chapter 16, verse 103. Right. Quran chapter 16, verse 103. Let's see what it says. I'm sharing the screen for those on uh, for those on uh, Facebook and YouTube. I'm sharing the screen. Look at the verse. In Quran chapter 16, verse 103, 
God says, Walakadina alamu annahum yakuluna innama yu alimuhul basha. Lisanul lezi yulhiduna ilayi ajamiyun wa haza lisanun arabiyun mubin. God calls the Quran lisanun arabiyun mubin. Siddiq, the bozo mushrik, said lisan al Arab is the original Arabic language. Quran is the Lisanun Arabiyun Mubi. The Quran was revealed in the 7th century. A book written by a scholar in the 13th century. You use that book to say that book is going to show you the real meaning. I'm going to show you where you flawed. You messed up. And we suddenly know that they say it is only a human who teaches Muhammad, right? The prophet. The language or the tongue by which the equivocate is foreign but this quran that i'm reading is a clear arabic language and when we say arabia it comes from the word araba which means to express something clearly to to manifest to reveal something to make something clear that is araba so that is arabian so that is why the quran is called kitabi mubin quran and mubin to make to give it clarity not to tell you, oh, we have to go to our slave masters to learn this and that. No. Okay. So that is Quran chapter 16, verse 103. So now I'm going to play this Bozo's video. Listen to what the Bozo said. I'm going to play the Bozo. Listen to what he said. This is Lisan al Arab. Okay, this is Lisan al Arab, the tongue of the Arabs, meaning like the original Arabic, not the one spoken on the streets of. Yemen, Medina, Dubai. Uh, Siddiq, what did you say? What did you say? I didn't hear that. What did he say? Please. That is all. This is Lisan al Arab. Okay, this is Lisan al Arab. The tongue of the Arabs, meaning like the original Arabic, not the one spoken on the streets of Yemen, Medina, Dubai. That is all. Huh. Siddiq, you call. You call Lisan al Arab a book written in the 13th century. You call it original Arabic. Does he understand the meaning of original? Please, a university graduate in Ghana, let's teach him, let's take him back to school again for him to understand what original means. Original. Let's take him back. So that he understands the meaning of original. Okay, Siddiq, let me help you. University graduates, let's go back again. You don't know the meaning of original, Baba Shwaib Correctional Officer is going to help you. So here, original, preceding all others in time or being as first made or performed, that is original. Number two, not derived, copied or translated from something else. Dummy! Hey, let me put his video here. Cry, cry, please. Yeah. I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love you, Shirikenga. <laughs> I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love you, Shirikenga. <laughs> this bozo, you take Lisan al Arab, a lexicon, and you said original Arabic language. Ha! Hey! Lisan al Arab written in the 13th century. Quran was revealed in the 7th century. And the Quran doesn't even use the word for itself, original Arabic language. It uses Lisanun Arabiyun Mubin. You are sitting here and telling us Lisan al Arab is the what? Is the what? Original? Okay, let's teach you the meaning of original. The third meaning of original being or productive of something fresh and unusual, or being as first made or thought of. That is the word original. So again, I'm schooling the university graduates what it's, the word original means. So let's listen to the bozo again. Listen what he said original. Okay, this is Lisan al Arab, the tongue of the Arabs, meaning like the original Arabic, not the one spoken on the streets of Yemen, Medina, Dubai. So a book written in the 13th century, this bozo says original Arabic. You are a dummy, you are a bozo, you are a miscreant for making that claims publicly on a video. University graduate of Ghana, Legon. Hey. And you even add, 
<laughs> can find it keep trying to correctional officer Kabaru. so ladies and gentlemen i just taught him the meaning of original he he made let's let's forgive him uh, let's give him a slack in the back he made a mistake right so it's not original so even the quran doesn't use the word original for himself in terms of lisan on arabian he, he only gave you clarity you are quoting a book which is written in the 13th century which came way years after the quran you are even call it lisan and uh, original arabic language are you are you a dummy oh you are a dummy sorry i forgot uh, yeah you are a dummy not i don't need to ask you are you a dummy <laughs> hey, I'm a... so the guy quoted and he said original arabic so let's go and ask the arabs so the arabs themselves did god ever give them the books to study and what did god say concerning that quran chapter 34 verse verse 44 so i'll share the screen let's see what god says concerning uh the arabs so when it comes to the arabs god says so god says to the arabs and we did not give them that is the arabs any books when we say kutubun or kutubin is the plural form of books of book one book is kitab so plural form huh good any books then he says, which they could study. Nor did we send any warner. Do you understand? So this is the Arabs. To them before you, Muhammad, salam, God never sent any warner. So they didn't have any books to study. Listen carefully. From God. It is God who can give you clarity. He gave you kitab in mubi, Quran in mubi. And the Arabs knows you cannot never use any Arabic language to challenge the Quran with. Okay. Now, let's go to another verse. We, I take you to Quran chapter 68, verse 36, and I, we read up to verse 38. So verse 36 says, Ma lakum kaifa takumum? Am lakum kitabun fihi tadurusun? Inna lakum fihi lama tahayyarun? What is the verse saying? How do you judge? So let's, let's limit it to Siddiq the Bozo. Siddiq Bozo, how do you judge? Or do you have a book in which you study? Uh, the believers, the Arabs, the believers with the Prophet Muhammad, they never had any other books they studied. The book they studied was the Quran only. That's what God gave them. Quran chapter 43 verse 21. Am min or are we, we giving them a book before it and they are adhering to it or upholding to it? The Arabs never had a book to study from God because God gives you the better one, right? They never had it. So now God is asking you, the bozo, how do you judge? Or do you have a book in which you study? Uh, by putting the garbage books behind, behind you in your picture, so you thought you have books that you study. Go and ask the Arabs from the Quran. Did they have books wherein they study? Then God says, that you have there in whatever you prefer. So you prefer the garbage books your slave masters give you, and you think that is knowledge. Ha, Siddiq bozo. Sidiq Bozo, and you are calling Lisan al Arab original Arabic language in the 13th century. What a dummy. You don't even know the meaning of original. And you, you don't even know the meaning of according to. Let me let me, let me make you cry. I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love Mushrik. <laughs> Good. So now, this Mushrik, let's give him one verse again. Then I go forward. Huh? So we are taking him to Quran chapter 2. Verse 159. Quran chapter 2, verse 159. So this is what God says. He said, Inna lazina yakatumuna ma anzal na min al bayinati wal huda min badi ma bayyanna huli nas fil kitab. Ulaika yel anumuhullah. Then he says, Wa yel anumun la inu. This is what God says. Indeed, those who conceal what God has revealed. Huh? Uh, what we have revealed of the what evidences by and the what guidance that is the Quran. But the mushriks are not, they don't have taqwa. So you can't follow the Quran alone. You have to follow the garbage books we give you that you'll be guided. After that, which we have made clear, and that's why God calls it Lisanun Arabiyun Mubi, the Quran. So God has made it clear. Fil kitab in the book to the people 
Then God says what? Those are the ones whom God has cursed, and they are cursed by the curses. So, Siddiq, since you are a mushrik, you are a Salafi, and you are a Sunni, may God curse you and the people like you forever and ever, inshallah, if you don't repent. May he curse you and all your family if they are in support. Whoever supports you, Siddiq, may Allah, may the la'ana of God be upon you and all your sect, inshallah. May you be exposed in broad daylight, just like the correctional officer is handling you, inshallah. May he curse all this, your, your group who supports you, whether Salafi, whether Sunni, if they support you. If, I'm not saying everybody, but if they support you, may they all be cursed and may they be humiliated in broad daylight for hiding what God has made clear in his own book. Mushirikam banza, sine ne lanen ne mutan. Allah tuna sirunku. Right time. Correction officer, Nazunga. I'm here to stay. I said it six years ago, five years ago. Did I go away? They, they should have sent somebody better. An amateur, Siddiq, amateur, Bozo, somebody who looks like Homo. <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing with him too much. Let me allow him. So now we are going to play his video. He says, Dualan. Let's go and deal with Dualan. Dualan. Let's go to Dualan. So now, Siddiq, we are going to your next video. So he says, Dualan. Listen. This guy doesn't have ears. He doesn't even know when he quotes a verse. He doesn't know where the where the verse is in which surah. He doesn't know. So listen to him. Human being who was lost and God guided him. You are calling him holy. Where did God ever call the prophet holy? His evidence that the prophet wasn't holy is the verse in Surah Al Duha. fahada. The kalima dal in lisanu la Arab. You see what the bozo did. He is going again to Lisan al Arab 13th century book to give an answer. It written by Ibn Manzur, right? Okay. So listen again. You are calling a human being who was lost and God guided him. You are calling him holy. Where did God ever call the prophet holy? His evidence that the Prophet wasn't holy is the verse in Surah Al Duha. Fahada. The kalima dal in Lisan al Arab. Okay, so he's not going to jump to Lisan al Arab. So I'm playing his next video so that you get to hear what he said after that, right? So his next video, this is what he said. Translating ma dalla sahibuku wa ma gawa to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi is not holy because he was misguided. Go I didn't translate ma dalla sahibuku wa ma gawa. I just said wa wajadaka dallan fahada. And then he misquoted me, said, I quoted, Ma dhullu sahibukum wa ma gawa. He doesn't even know the verses and he doesn't know in which chapter they belong. So he said, I'm quoting Surah al dua And he said it right in the other video that I just played. And here he misquoted me because he was so emotional. So he was kaput in the head, not paying attention. I told you, correctional officer will whip you with logic. I'm not joking. Okay. Going to depend on kufar like him who said the prophet was an idol worshiper i never said the prophet is an idol worshiper i put a challenge to him siddiq bring any video where i call the prophet an idol worshiper that those people have been responded to long ago yes if they respond to the idol worshiper that is them i don't support anybody who says prophet was an idol worshiper i never said that if you said i said that may the curse of god be upon you and whoever supports you inshallah Hundreds of years ago, that the prophet was an idol worshiper. I never said that. The video is there. He made. I never said he is an idol worshiper. This is the people when they cannot defeat you, they use slander as a tool against you. Allah said, "Ma dalla." Listen to him again. He, he... I didn't quote "Ma dalla sahibukum." I'm quoting Wabajadaka Dalan Fahada. He doesn't even know the verses where they belong, in which chapter, in which surah they don't know. Good. Translated as Dalla because Gabuni, Jahilini, Wawani. He then trans. He is insulting me and calling me a fool and ignorant. No problem. Let's go. Translated. Ma Dalla Sahibukum. He said the prophet was misguided. Ma Dalla Sahibukum wa Ma Gawa. He said I translated as misguided. I never mentioned the verse. And he's going to play the video. You see it clearly which verse I was quoting. He doesn't even know Surah to Dua and Surah to Najim. He doesn't know the difference. It's not about holy, Benny. Therefore, it's not holy. 
and he couldn't bring a verse throughout the Quran or even their garbage hadith books. You see the books behind him? He couldn't even bring one Arabic language passage, eh? any jumla, one jumla in Arabic language from any of their garbage books, excluding the Quran. Quran is the epitome of guidance, is the epitome of wisdom. Quran doesn't call the Prophet Nabiul Quddus. He doesn't call him Nabiul Muqaddas. I'm just helping you, my brother. You are an African. I'm an African. I'm helping you. Don't keep being brainwashed by your slave masters. That's all. Don't take this personal. I'm helping you. I can tease you a bit. Yeah, it's allowed. Eh? <laughs> but don't take it personal, please. You see the madness of this guy? Listen to So he said, I have madness. No problem. But look, he's going to show you the madness himself. He misquoted me. Look at the madness. Now let's look. To him again. He's furious because the prophet was called holy. He said, I'm furious because the prophet is called holy. And I'm call, I'll am I'll quote your own hadith books, which tells you if you innovate, innovate anything, you, the mushriks, the sunnis, you are the alul bidah. You keep telling people bidah, bidah, bidah. Don't innovate something which is not part of Islam, right? So you are going to prove to me, I'll use your hadith to quote your sahih hadith, where it says you shouldn't invent anything in Islam. You have invented the word holy prophet, yet we don't find it in Arabic language, in a book of your scholars, where it calls the prophet Nabil Kudus or Nabil uh, Muqaddas. It doesn't exist. I'm only helping you, Siddiq Bozo. Don't take me as an enemy. Prophet, look at the foolish mushriks again. The foolish mushriks, I will stop calling you. <laughs> and that's what gets him angry. And he's calling me a madman, but he's responding to me. They are so foolish and dumb. You see, he's laughing. He admits they are dumb. And I'm going to show them the damn side. You are calling a human being who was lost and God guided him. Why was he offended? Because I used the word lost. Any Arabian person out there, any person of lang uh, knowledge in Arabic language, you are listening to me, right? You know the meaning of the land or the Allah. Huh? Dal, you know, right? Okay. Chapter 10, 93, verse 7. He was astray and God guided him. I'm not saying he's an idol worshiper. The fact is, he was astray. Chapter 42, verse 52. God says, Ma kun -ma You did not know what was the book or the iman. If a person doesn't know what faith is, does it mean he has faith? So, uh, intentionally, what, uh, uh, specifically, what does that make the person? He's astray. He's lost. If you're lost, it means you're, you don't know if you're going right or left. That makes you lost. It doesn't mean the prophet is an idol worshiper. God wouldn't just say he's lost. He would like call him a mushrik or a kafir or something. You understand me? So if I say he was lost, doesn't mean he's an idol worshiper. You are just misquoting me and hating me for your emotional reasons. I understand you, Siddiq. You are emotional. But calm down. You're dealing with a correctional officer. I had the name for a reason, and that is my logo. I'll make you learn. Chapter 42, verse 52. Okay, so you heard it. So, so now you heard me. I quoted Surah to Duha. He said, I quoted Surah to Najm. Guys, you have ears. Did you hear me quoting in the video? The answer is no. The Mushrik said, I quoted the, and I translated it as misguided. Did I even use the word misguided? Hello? No, but this is the Mushriks. They've been even misquoting God. They are misquoting the Prophet. How much less Baba Shwai? You know, because he has not learned the Quran, he can't recite the Quran. So it's English. So he said, I cannot, I didn't learn the Quran. I cannot recite the Quran. He never knows, he didn't even knew that I've been to Madrasa and that I intentionally don't use the Atajweed because I want to use Tajibush. So I recite the Quran like I'm talking. I don't recite the Quran by your garbage ways of thinking that is the only way to take you to paradise. But I'll teach you on that, why I do that. She's using and Google. So he, he has done this over some time. So the misguidance, uh, how do you call it? He's doing, you know, he goes to Google and type things. Again. He said, I go to Google and type things. Look, you don't know me physically. People who know me physically will tell you about Baba Shaib. And no wonder you are scared to confront me if live dialogue. You have my phone number. You unfriend me on Facebook because you are scared. So you stay far away and throw stones. Remember, you live in a glass house. Baba Shaib lives in the metal house. I'm going to crush you. Wallahi lazi. Good. So now, he is infuriated because I said the prophet is not holy. It's a fact. I'm not trying. Look, I, I don't look down on the prophet. 
I protect the Prophet's identity more than the Mushriks, the Salafiyya, the Sunnis, the Shias. Wallahi lazim. I will tell you emphatically. Look at me, Baba Shraib. I protect the Prophet's identity more than these bozos who said he married a CCSO girl. Who say he sleeps with 11 women in one night? Who said he want to sleep with his by on the bed of one of his wives? Who says he, a woman shamed, me, shamed him in public for trying to sleep with her? And you think these people love the prophet just because they draw, dress like monkeys? Huh? I told you, ever since Allah guided me, no wise person has ever, ever insulted me. Wallahi lazim. No wise person has ever, ever insulted me. Check the records. Okay, let's go. So Dallan, he said 93 verse 7 doesn't mean lost. It doesn't mean astray. And he misquoted me by saying I translated it as misguided. I didn't say he was misguided. But let's help him. And one thing that uh, the, the Mushriks don't know is what we call Siyak al kalam. They don't know Siyak al kalam, which is what context in Arabic. Mushriks don't know that. So that is why when they quote verses, they, they can say, uh, 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 rasul anhu fantahu. The verse is a long verse, chapter 59, verse 7. They will never quote it long. Wa rasul wa ulil and they stop there, chapter 4, verse 59. They never quote it long. Then they will go, uh, 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 and they will not finish the verse. Chapter 3, verse 31. Then they will go again. Which one? They never finish the verse. It goes on and on. I can give you more. I don't want to waste my time right now, but I can give you more. That's how they, they never finish verse. They put it in the middle. Then they go outside the Quran and then tell you they are giving you the garbage tafasirs. Okay, no problem. So now we are going to see something. We are going to go to the translations of their own scholars, the Sunni scholars. That is Yusuf Ali, Musin Khan, uh, Dr. Gali. And we are going to go to Shaki, all of them. We, I'm going to show you on the screen. See how they translated the verse. And this guy is trying to let me look like an enemy to my people. That is the Ghanaians. But see how they, they translated the verse. I'm going to put it on the screen. So bear with me, right? Okay. Let me remove this bozo. He's taking too much space on my screen. <laughs> Allah bozo. <laughs> ah, Siddiq bozo. Okay. So Siddiq bozo, let me help you. See the translation of Sahih International. When we say Sahih International, they are very popular. If you go to Quran.com, they are a Sunni translation, uh, this thing. And then they have translated the Quran and put it on the mainstream where people can see, right? So this is the Sahih International. Now, wawajada kadalan fahada. He found you lost and guided. So this is Sahih International. This Siddiq Bozo, located in somewhere in a small place in Ghana, says me, Baba Shaib, I said lost. So I am the enemy of the Prophet. That's what he said. So this is Sahih International who are Sunnis. And they translated wawajada kadalan fahada. You can go Quran.com. Just go Quran.com. Chap type chapter 93 verse 7 and check. Sahih International say he found you lost and guided. Sahih International, they are Sunnis, right? Good. Mohsin Khan, the one who translated the Sahih al-Bukhari books from Arabic to English, he translated is he found you unaware by using the inspiration al what al-Qurtubi, eh? Qurtubi, which is their scholars who do tafsir for them. So they try to change the words of God. Here he used Garfield. The word Garfield is unaware. So God says, Dalan, he said unaware. Look, Dalla never, ever in any Arabic dictionary means unaware. But he said unaware, right? Then he put into brackets and lied to you of the Quran, its legal laws and prophethood, etc., and guided you. No problem. Yusuf Ali, he found thee wandering, meaning you are just going left or right. You are, you are confused. Where, where do I go? Oh, you go here. You're out. I don't know the way. Hey. Uh, who is God? I don't know God. Hey. That is wandering. Is still defined as lost. Then he goes again. Shakir, another Sunni. He found he find you lost. You are blaming Baba Shaib. What did I do? I'm just a brother like you. I'm an African, even though I'm handsome than you. Yeah, a bit. Uh, I think Sadiq, I'm handsome than you. 
But I'm your brother. Why are you hating me? The, I translated this exactly the same. I'm being honest. You hate me because I look like you. And my friend, who is an Arab, was just trying to put some sense into you. And he clearly shows that, oh, it's not even the color you respect, but the slave master's books you respect. And then Dr. Gali, another Sunni, and he found you erring. Now, this is even worse. Look, Dr. Gali said he, God found the prophet erring, meaning making mistakes, fumbling, messing up, and guided you. Where do you find it? Quran.com, Sunni website. Not a Shia website, not a Tijaniya website, a Sunni website. That's where you find this. Go to Quran.com. You are hating Baba Shrive for translating Wajada Kadal and Fahada? Oh, come on. Huh? Yeah, bro, I see you, Freddy. I see you. Now, so let's teach this bozo something. If you go to Surah Tul Fatiha, I'm going to show you something. If you go to Surah Tul Fatiha, we go to chapter one, right? And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to help Siddiq Bozo, the university graduate who doesn't even understand common English. Let's go and help him. <laughs> ha, Siddiq, Kabaro. Chapter one, verse six to verse seven. So God says, I'm going to share the screen. Check my translation. Beautiful. Amazing. No scholar in Ghana has ever translated, fully translated Quran from English, from Arabic to English. They don't have it. The Sunni, the Shia, the Tariqa, they don't have any scholar who can translate the Quran. Wallahi, I put the challenge to them. Any scholar in Ghana who can boast of having a Quran translated from Arabic to English. Wallahi, if you can bring it, present it to me, I will resign from being a Muslim. They don't have it. Check how beautiful my Quran, my translation is on the page. I'm not boasting. God says, I'm not boasting. God has done me a favor. He gave me a knowledge I can translate an Arabic book from the word of God to English. Are you not amazed to see an African brother like you being present, presented with such an honor? And I have an Arabian friend who even values and respects me for this amazing gift God has given me and you, my brother, who has the same skin at, like me. You hate me for translating just like your so-called Sunni scholars translated? Come on, Siddiq. Don't be emotional about this. I'm only here to help you. Arabs are watching me. White people, Caucasians are watching me. Asians are watching me. Africans are watching me. People love me all over the world. I'm not doing this because people love me. I'm only here to shed light that God has given me. The munir, the nur God has put into me. Is what I'm doing. So you hate me just because they tell you I'm the first Ghanaian. Not Ghanaian, first African who has translated the Quran fully. From Arabic to English, you are not amazed by this achievement? And you hate me when my book is in the National Library of Finland, the, one of the best countries in the world, and you are based in Ghana. Excuse me to say I'm from Ghana, but you are based in Ghana. Hey! Ehidina Surat al Mustaqim, guide us to the straight path. This is what we all tell God. Verse 7, the path, Sirat al Lazina and Amta Alehim, Gair Magadubi Alehim Walla Dolin, the path of those whom you have favored, God, not of those upon whom is the anger. We don't need that, nor of the misguided. Why are you ashamed that the prophet was misguided, was, was uh, uh, astray, and God guided? Why should you be ashamed of this? I'm only helping you. God says when he grants you wisdom, he has given you khairan kathira. He gave me. I don't need you black people to lift me up. Other race are lifting me up. I've been given one of the best platforms in the world to present my Quranic work. Go and check the video. I was sitting next to professors, doctors, whatever you can mention. People with masters, degrees. 
Baba Shoaib representing Ghana. I was the youngest person among all the professors and doctors. And you in the village in the Ghana want to look down on me, Baba Shoaib? Wow. You hate me because I look like you and I'm telling you the truth? Abba, Sadiq. Sadiq. So we don't want God to put us among the Dali. Don't be ashamed. The prophet was, he's inspired, he's, he, he, look, what was Jadaka Dalin, he was astray and God guided him. But just because you want to justify the means of calling the prophet holy, that is idol worship. Are you not, are you not reasoning? Are you a dummy? Are you a bozo? Are you a miscreant? I'm helping you for God's sake. I love the prophet more than you. Quran chapter 2 verse 165. God says believers love God more than any other thing. Doesn't mean I don't love the prophet. I love him. That's why I'm saving his, his reputation. You foolishly attribute six years old to the dishonorable man. You foolishly attribute your garbage books to this honorable man. And I'm here to save your weak ass, dead ass, jack ass. Hey, I'm becoming a rapper. <laughs> That's what I love you, okay? <laughs> uh, I love Isaac. Isaac. I'm only helping you. Okay, so chapter one, verse, verse six to verse seven. We told God not to put us off the misguided. That is Dualin, Astri, or whatever, right? Now, these same mushriks, they will agree that Prophet Musa alayhi salam was part of the misguided. The mushriks, when they translate, they agree, all the mushriks, they agree that Prophet Musa was part of the Dualin in the past. Then God guided him. Now we are going to quote the Quran. All the mushriks, they agree, the Sunnis, the Shia, they agree that. But when it comes to Prophet Muhammad, because they want to worship him, idolize him, after he told you in Quran chapter 18, verse 110, Kul, Innama ana basharu mithlukum yuha ilayya annama ilahukum ilahun wahid. Faman kana yarju lika rabbi fali amal amala salihan. Wala yushariku bi ibadatihi rabbi ahada. He's telling you, not to associate anyone in the worship of the Lord. Don't associate anyone. You still want to associate Prophet Muhammad in the level God never put him. You are calling him the best of creation out of your foolishness. Give me one verse. Then they will quote chapter 68 verse 4. Innaka la ala khulika la azim. Damn as mushriks again. Translate the verse and tell me where he says best of creation. Chapter 26, verse 20. If you go to chapter 26, verse 20, this is what Musa says. He said, he, Moses said, I did it then while I was of the what? Misguided. Wa'ana minal dalin. That the mushriks will accept that he, Musa, was astray in the past. They will agree. That Musa was part of the Dualin. That they translated all the translations. Go and check. You see if can't check. They agree. Musa was part of that. You accept, right? But you will never accept Prophet Muhammad was also Dualin before. Oh. And then the father uh, of Abraham. Let's go and see the same chapter. We go to Quran chapter 26, verse 86. Chapter 26, verse 86. It says, Wakfirili Abi innahu kana min ad-dallin so the same dalli and forgive my father indeed he has been of the misguided or if the strayers it is normal this is nothing huh they are stray admit it stop trying to put the prophet in the level god never gave him i baba shwab i'm only helping you to understand don't go next to shirk it is a bad thing to do. So we saw the examples. I gave you the verses. Musa in the past was part of the Dwali. The father of Abraham, God, Abraham himself said, his father was, has been among the Dwali. And then, you saw the translations by the Sunni scholars. It's still lost. 
I didn't make any mistake. So now let's go. We are going to check. Uh, uh, how would I say? Uh, let's check. Let me see what we can check. Uh, Sahih International, we check already, right? If you were like, go and check dictionaries. Check the meaning of the uh, uh, dal, dal and see. So the next video, this guy is going to talk about the translation his imam did, Al-Qurtubi. So listen to what this guy said concerning Al-Qurtubi's translation of the word Dalan Fahada, what Al-Qurtubi told him. So this mushrik thinks Al-Qurtubi knows the Quran more than God himself. So God forgot to use Wawajadaka Gafilan Fahada. God forgot to use that. So God made a mistake according to this Mushrik Bozo, Siddiq. God forgot, so he rather used Wawajadaka Dalan because he didn't know the word Gafilan. So your Imam Qurtubi, who never met the Prophet, 13th century, Prophet existed in the 7th century. Your, pro, your scholar who came in the 13th century is now acting to be smarter than God and put the word Garfilan. Okay, let's go and see what your scholar has to say concerning this mishap. So now we quote your video. Out of the balag of the Quran, Allah didn't say Fahadaka. Allah said Fahada, Manhada. You see the foolishness again. Man hada. So it's like he doesn't believe the hada doesn't mean the prophet. Foolishly, he forgot that God says the ka is a domir, which signifies a second person pronoun, which is you, singular, talking to the prophet. But foolishly, this dummy doesn't check the context kalam to see what God is saying. But he says, man hada. Okay. Man hadahullah. Who is the one that was guided? Because Allah didn't say Fahadaka. So then you brought this English translation of guided because Allah didn't say Fahadaka. So then you brought this English translation and attributed everything to the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So now he's accusing me of bringing my translation, which I say he found you lost and guided you. He's accusing me. I showed you on the screen your scholars. Yusuf Ali, Khan, Yusuf Ali, we have Muhsin Khan, we have Shakir, we have Dr. Gali, all of them translated it in the same contrast, I put it. You're blaming me because I'm an African like you. You leave them, right? Okay, because wh why? Why did you leave them? Okay. Now, let's take it one after the other, inshallah. So now he's going to mess up. Is going to leave the Quran, which is revealed in the seventh century, and jump to the thirteenth century to bring a scholar from thirteenth century, not seventh century. A scholar from thirteenth century is going to tell him the meaning of Dalan. Starting with today, I don't want to keep the video uh, long. Inshallah. He even lied to his viewers. He doesn't want it long. It was long because of Baba Shreve, the correctional officer. I'm very important, right? Yeah, VIP. Huh? Now let me start. I wanted to start with uh, how do you call it? The Surah to uh, Najim first. He said he wanted to start with Surah to Najim, but let's check where he's going to start. Now this is Tafsir Imam Al Qurtubi. So he went to the Tafsir of Imam Qurtubi. The mistake they make is these people say the Prophet is the best Mufassir of the Quran, but yet. When it comes to the tafsir of Quran, they leave the Quran where God says, Wala ya bi mathalin illa jinaka bil haq wa ahsana tafsira. Quran chapter 25, verse 33. These people will leave the Quran, which is ahsana tafsira, best in tafsir. Now they will go 13th century. Mm? So we have 7th century, 8th century, 9th century, 10th century, 11th century, 12th century. 13th century, six years apart, he is going to a scholar in that century to give him the tafsir of Dalan, 
ladies and gentlemen let's enjoy the show so then you brought this english translation and attributed everything to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now let's take it one after the other inshallah we are starting with today i don't want to keep the video uh, long inshallah but he's going to make it long now let me start i wanted to start with uh, how do you call it the surah to uh, najm first now this is tafsir imam al qurtubi okay and so let's pause please sorry let me pause him who is imam Kultur, uh, Kurtubi? Imam al Kurtubi, who was born in the year 1214 and died in the year 1273, that is 13th century, as an Andalusian Sunni Muslim. No, 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 no. That's a mistake I made. Slip of the soldier. He's not a Sunni Muslim. He's a Sunni Mushrik. A Sunni Mushrik who is well known for his so called classical commentary of the Quran named Tafsir al Kurtubi. That is what this bozo is going to quote for us. I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love Mushrik. Eh? Mushrik. Okay, let's go. So quote for us, Al Kurtubi, your so-called scholar. We want to hear what Kurtubi has to say. Okay, he's smarter. According to you, he's smarter than God. So let's check what he has to say. Under the ayah, listen to the translation. Eh? Not this. One, I don't mean English translation. Me, I don't know how to use English translation. Yeah, no wonder you don't know how to use you went to Isla uh, university of ghana you went to university but you don't know how to use english translation okay by understanding by the way official ghana uh, the, the official language in ghana is english language but this guy doesn't know how to use english translation english mm. he said so now he's going to Quote his scholar of the 30th century, and he's going to call him me a jahil. No problem. When an amateur is calling me a jahil, no problem. I can take it. It's just like your kid or your kids. When kids are insulting you or they are mad at you, sometimes my son Salim he gets angry and he thinks he can fight. Like you know, uh, my son he gets angry. You know, when a kid needs candy, something, and you refuse to give them, they can get angry and then they think, hey, I can hit you. For those who have kids, you know what I mean, right? When a kid gets pissed off. So if an amateur calls me a jahil, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen. He says I'm the father of ignorant people. Okay. Listen very carefully. Because you cannot read, you have not sat down to learn. So even though he can read and sat down to learn, he is going to quote a scholar from 13th century, which means you, Siddiq, the bozo, you are empty-headed. So you have to go back to the 13th century for somebody who you never met, your slave master, to tell you what Darlan means. Working on Google like a rabbit to come and cause harm to Islam. He thinks I'm the or rather the one causing harm to Islam. So according to him, the their definition of Islam is to hold the garbage books their scholars give you. That is Islam. So to them, Aliyoma akmal to lakum dinakum, wa atmum to alaykum nimati, wa radi to lakum on Islam adina. Quran chapter 5, verse 3. When God says he has completed the deen and then he has completed his blessings upon us and then he has approved Islam as a deen for us, this bozo said it's not enough. So now he said, I'm the enemy of Islam when I'm telling you, book of God is enough. He says, no. Quran chapter 29 verse 15, uh, 15, uh, 51. It is not enough for them that the Quran has been sent down to be recited to them. It's not enough, right? So you need your garbage kurtubi. Okay, let's listen. You then open your gota to say just anything. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, wait. I'm handsome than you. Siddiq, what are you doing? I open my gota. This doesn't look like gota to you. You were bozo dummy miscreant does it look look check your picture look at me look at your nose if somebody say we look like monkeys they will say you are a baboon among the monkeys who are who is more handsome i think can, can somebody help me in the, in the monkey world i can be handsome than you if in case somebody has to call the s monkey i'm handsome than you Sidi. Ha, you call me got this gutter ha, look at my mouth is it because i'm not wearing lipstick by the way, the filter I used for him was, <laughs> it was very nice. People are giving me tops up for that. <laughs> Let's go, CD. Listen to the meaning of the verse. The meaning of another meaning for Val is Ghafil. 
He says another meaning for dalan is gafil in which book? Kurtubi. <laughs> another Sunni Mushrik translated a book you said tafsir is telling you another meaning of dal is what? Gafil. Oh, but when I we check the translation of your scholars, Yusuf Ali didn't use Gafil. When we checked your translation of your scholars, we saw them. The only one who used Gafil was actually uh, Muhsin Khan because he translates Sahih al Bukhari from Arabic to English. So that he tried to use that and use unaware. But he's lying because no Arabic dictionary, authentic Arabic dictionary. Let me tell you what this bozo did, Siddiq. Siddiq, what you did is you use Lisan al Arab, which is a lexicon from Arabic language. And you, when it comes to giving the meaning of the word Dalan, you didn't go to the dictionary, Lisan and Arab. What you did now is you went to your idol worshiper scholars. Then you now ask your scholar Kurtubi, which you have a lot. You have Ibn Abbas, you have Ibn Kathir, you have Jalalain, you have uh, Tabari and so on. You never use them. So you chose the, the one which your heart will suit you just to come and face Baba Shahid. Come on. I'm, if I'm too little, why are you struggling to find the answers like this? No problem. Balun Rafilun. Another meaning for it is Rafil. So he says another meaning. Oh, so he agrees the word lost is a meaning. So now he says another meaning. Does he understand English? Siddiq, do you understand English? Buzu. Now let's check. And inshallah, we'll hear we'll find out another ayah in the Quran that Allah then instead of using Dalal or Jahil, Allah protected Prophet from that and then use Ghafil. Just because you want to call him holy. No problem. It says, Ay, ghafilan amma yuradu bika min amri nubuwa. This guy is good with quote Arabic you know, text. Eh? I, like, I like his voice. Eh? The Prophet wasn't aware that he would be made a Prophet. Is that what the verse said? That you are not aware. Oh, God says, that you are not aware of being a prophet. So we guided you. Oh, Sidiq. Good to be lied to you. Huh? Uh -huh. Allahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how do you call it? Did not know that he will be made a prophet. And that so is that what God told you in that verse? The meaning. So now he says that's the meaning. So God was supposed to say, So God made a mistake. So your Kurtubi scholar was smarter than God, quote unquote, to tell God that is the correct meaning. I thought you said Prophet is Muhammad is the best Mufassir of the Quran. So how did Prophet Muhammad actually explain to the people what is the meaning of Fahada? Hmm, the last time I checked, Tafsir Muhammad doesn't exist. But we have Tafsir Ibn Kasir, Ibn Abbas, and then you have Kurtubi, who was never in the even in the seventh century, eighth century. He didn't exist. So he's telling you the meaning, Gafilan. Okay, no problem. By, by the way, the word Gafilan, I just put it on the screen. It's unaware to be unaware of something, right? Found you a Gafilan, meaning not aware. You weren't aware that the message Jibril will come to you and tell you Ekra. Then Allah said, Fahada. Then we directed Jibril to you to bring the guidance to you. Oh. So you see how the Mushrik is more into the, the book of his slave master, trying to explain with pleasure. But thank God, he, he Siddiq, understands that he doesn't know anything. So he has to rely on the book from the 13th century. And he thinks that's knowledge. And that's why I call it garbage books. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Allah guided you. Then He guided you on what you become. The prophet wasn't aware. He didn't know that he would be. So, this is how they love the Atafasirs. They choose whichever they want. They can choose even Kasir, even Abbas, even uh, whatever, whatever. Jalalain, Tabari, Tabari. They keep going like this. Kurtubi. And then they will choose their choice and then say, oh, this is what it means. If Prophet is the Mufassir of the Quran, how come you are relying on this? Dead scholars. May the Prophet with the Quran and the Sunnah. What Dalal Huna, the meaning of Dalal here, be ma'ana al Ghafla. Okay, so the meaning of Dalal in Wawajadaka Dal and Fahada, it means Ghafla. Hmm? Huh? Ghafla. Okay. The meaning of the Dalal here means 
al ghafla meaning not aware not aware so according to kurtubi he oh sadiq let me help you you have you could have you said according to kurtubi that it means gafla because we went to according to yusuf ali we saw lost we went to, uh, wandering we went to uh, Musin khan we saw unaware we went to uh, shakir we saw lost we went to sahi international we saw lost we went to uh, dr gali he said lost so now you went you decided to go to kurtubi you alone you go to kurtubi kurtubi to tell you the meaning okay no problem he wasn't okay so now let's help this bozo to understand the word gafil unaware if god wants us to you tell the prophet uh, that i found you gaflatin or gafla or whatever gafilan he will have used that one but this is what i say quran chapter i'm going to take him to the quran siddiq to teach you something right this lecture is going to take about three hours i can go don't worry i don't want to do part two i can go like that so ladies and gentlemen uh, i know for those in ghana maybe if you don't have bundle i apologize but please stick with me i'm going to crash this person this guy this bozo to the core wallahi if he's coming back he'll be more prepared and the day he stepped from the live dialogue ha ah, kabaru <laughs> correction officer allah i'm here to stay <laughs> hey, bozo screen in a bozo uh let me quote a verse so now this guy used kurtubi and he thinks kurtubi is more smarter than god to give us the meaning of dalan so he says dalan here means garfield like to be unaware ah huh? okay so now chapter 36 verse 6 chapter 36 verse 6 ah, the quran is sweet papa you have a book like this and you are going to garbage books and you are proud we should have banza bozo kamanka ah, this bozo <laughs> let me go chapter 36 verse 6 that's a surah to yasin so we go to yasin and then I put the screen a bit larger. For those who need glasses, you don't need glasses. You can watch. Corruption officer is making you feel good. Enjoy the show. Uh, please buy your popcorn and watch the show. Eh? Because this guy is going I feel to... like crying, eh? Eh, I love you, Shirikenga. <laughs> buy your popcorn. Enjoy the show. Correction officer will give you pleasure. Eh? You will be, you will love this, right? They don't know how fit I am before I came out to face them, Mushriks. I've been in this game for five years on life. Your scholars go and check my history i've done international debates i've done local debate you check i'll deal with you don't worry i'm a chum. so let's check here so i'm going to put the verse on the screen and let's see what the quran says right so quran here so god says in surah to yasin chapter 36 verse 6 he says so god is talking about the people of muhammad the arabs if you read the context the siyak al kalam start from chapter 36 verse 1 yasin wal quran al hakim inna kalamin al mursalin it goes like that then you come to verse 6 huh? then he says so that you may warn a people whose fathers were not warned so they were unaware or they are unaware so if God wanted to tell the prophet in God knows the word Garfield, he could have said, you the prophet, Fahada. God will have said it simple. Because your damn ass scholars don't actually know that God is wise and the Quran is wise. That's why God says, well, the Quran is Hakim. You don't use a garbage book to correct a wise book. Sadiq, Bozo. Is it Sadiq or Sadiq? Because he couldn't even spell my name. My name is Baba, B-A-B-A. -B -A. He wrote on his page, Baba. Siddiq, you can't even spell four letter words. You wrote five letter words. No wonder you went to a 13th century scholar. Okay, let's deal with you. Garfilun. So the prophet and his people were, were what? unaware, all of them. So if God wanted to include the prophet in chapter 93, verse 7, he could have just told him. But did he actually call the prophet Garfield? Yes, he did. Let's go. Chapter 12, verse 2. Surah to Yusuf. Chapter of Yusuf. Let's go. Fast, fast, fast. Abba Shrive, don't waste time. Let's go. Surah to Yusuf. That is chapter 12. Then we go to verse 12. Surah Yusuf. 
I put the screen bigger and I put it bigger. Then we go to verse 12, right? Chapter 12, verse 12. Oh, sorry about this. Let me put verse 12. Chapter 12, verse 12. Yeah. So in chapter 12, verse, oh, sorry. I said chapter 12, verse 12. Sorry, I apologize. It's chapter 12, verse 2. Sorry, I made a mistake. So in chapter 12, verse 2, and I'm going to put it bigger. So here, God says, Inna anzalnahu Qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'kilun. Then it goes. Nanu nakusu alayka. So now he's telling the prophet. Nanu nakusu alayka. I apologize for those on TikTok. You cannot see it. So if you watch the playback on Facebook, on YouTube, then you can see the verse. So nanu nakusu alayka. Ahsana, ahsana al-kasas. Bima awhayna ilayka. Hazal Quran. Then he says, Wa in kunta min, you see, min kablihi lamin al gafilin. Gafilin. Now, the reason why I'm going step by step like that, so that you hear and you see the verse step by step. I don't need to rush. I don't need to act like I'm the smartest person to read the Quran. I have the eloquence. I'm the uh, Muratil. No, no, I'm not here to impress you that I know how to recite the Arabic in eloquence. Or I'm not here to impress you that I know how to read the Quran with some styles like a gay, like the Siddiq Bozo does. No, I'm not here to impress you like that. I didn't come out, Baba Shaib didn't come out to say, I know how to recite the Quran better than anybody or read the Quran better than anybody. I never said that. Don't take it personal, please. So now let's go. We narrate to you the best of stories through what we have inspired to you, Muhammad. Ilaika, the Domir there is a second person pronoun, singular, of this Quran, has a Quran. Although you, Muhammad, kunta, wa in kunta min kabilihi laminal gafilin. So God is telling the prophet, you were before it among the unaware. Siddiq. You and your bozo, you yourself a bozo with your bozo scholars, have no idea that the Quran is a wise book. That if God wanted to say, you the prophet, Fahada, he would have said it. He didn't say it that way. He said, because you are a mushrik, you want to worship this prophet by claiming he's holy, and yet you cannot prove from your garbage books where it says, Nabil Mukaddas, Nabil Kuddus, you are hating your own brother. I'm not the first to say what well, means lost. Among the unaware. So the prophet was among the unaware before God guided him. So now he has to go to his people. So his people were also Garfield and he was Garfield and they were darling and he was darling and God guided him. How, how is it difficult, my people? How, how is it difficult? Sadiq Bozo since says he doesn't mean astray. Okay, no problem. So the next one, we can even use the word the garfil. Uh, we can use, but let, let me show you something. If you go to Quran chapter 27, verse 93, when it comes to God, right? When it comes to God, if you read the verse, Wamara Buka, it says, Wamara Buka, the Garfilin, Amma. Ta'amaloon. He says, and your Lord is not heedless. He's not unaware of what you do. So your Lord, mm, your Lord is always aware. He's always, uh, uh, you know, uh, aware and he, uh, paying attention to what you're doing. So God can never be a uh, uh, garfil. You understand? God can never be garfil. A human being, you can be garfil. So the prophet was among the garf garfil. He was among the Dalal also in the past. Then God guided him. I'm not saying he worshiped idols. Quran never said prophet was an idol worshiper. I respect that man. He's an honorable man. Go to Quran chapter 7 verse 157. God says, The one they revealed with him. And God says, So I respect him. I honor him. 
I support him and I follow the nur. Where is that? The Quran, chapter 14, verse 1. The kitab is the nur. Right? The Quran is the nur. I follow it with the prophet because prophet followed the nur, the Quran. So I follow it with him. And God says, I will be the successful, not you, the Salaf or Sunnis or Mushriks. No, you don't follow the Quran. You're proud of Qurtubi. Hmm? Uh -huh. Right. Okay, so now we go. I will mess this guy up. Basa, 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 basa. Hi, you send amateur to me, Baba Shwaib, correctional officer. <laughs> hey, Abu Shirka Kumbaro, Bakujaku Aiko scholar, Kuna Aiko mean amateur. Ah, now Abu Shirka and Galaba could try. Baku Kau scholar, you don't have scholar in Ghana. So now this guy is angry with me because he wants to keep calling the prophet holy. Right? He wants to call the prophet holy. In Arabic, even in their hadith books, you will never find one passage, the Jumla, one sentence, where it calls the prophet Nabil Kuddus or it calls him Nabil Muqaddas. It doesn't exist. So I, Baba Shraib, I'm only saving your ass by telling you, stop calling this honorable man holy. But they don't like it. And they hate me for saying that. I'm only helping you so that you don't commit shirk. He's a man. He's an honorable man. I never said he's an ordinary man, for God's sake. So, Holy Prophet, can you prove it? Any mushrik on earth who can prove to me where God called the Prophet Nabil Kudus or Nabil Muqaddas or any of your hadith garbage books where it calls him in Arabic language? Listen carefully, not in the English, because when they are translating to you, they lie to you. Musin Khan, who translates Sahih Bukhari, he lied to you. He translated by pulling Holy Prophet in the English. In the Arabic, it doesn't exist. Okay. So now let's refurbish their garbage books a bit. I'm going to refurbish your garbage book and give it back to you, right? So I'm going to refurbish their garbage book. You know, sometimes you can go to the garbage and you find something you want to use a bit. It's not like you want to use it for a lifetime. You want to use it a bit. So let's do the same, right? Okay, we are going to your garbage book. And I'm going to find something there. I'm going to refurbish it and give it to you, the mushriks, the bozos. I'm going to give it back. Okay, so let's see. We are going to call Sahih al-Bukhari 2697. So I'll put it on the screen, right? Sahih al-Bukhari. Wait a minute. Sahih al-Bukhari 2697, right? I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I know Sadiq Bozo is watching, the miscreant. He's watching, so let me put it on the screen and he see his own hadith books. I have it. I have all the Sahih Bukhari copies. I have all the Sahih Muslim volumes, right? I have all the Ajami at Trimidi volumes. If you need it, holler me on Corruption Officer number. I'll give you for free, right? Then you can study their garbage books and know their weakness, right? So this, their garbage own hadith. I don't believe in it, but let's refurbish it and give it back to the bozo. Now check. You see this hadith in English here is very small. They translate very small, but check the Arabic here. A lot. This is according to, according to, because of the according to, according to. That's why it's long. So you see, Adathana, Adathana Yaqub. You see, Adathana Yaqub here narrated to us according to Yaqub. So that is according to Yaqub. Not according to Nabi. Not according to Muhammad. Not according to Rasul. This is the garbage you are proud of. And I'm helping you, you don't want to wake up? Bozo. Adathana Yaqub. You want to classify this book holy? Yeah, they even have Hadith al Qudus. Hadith al Qudus, they call it holy Hadith. Ha! Huh. <laughs> God Himself, He calls the, the Quran Ahsan al Hadith. God never even called the, the, the Quran Hadith al Qudus. And you, the Mushrik, you are calling this book, this book, Hadith al Qudisi, 40 Hadith, Hadith al Qudisi. Allah Mushrik, Kumbaro! Kubaro big time. Now I was at the Kubasa Basa Basa. Hey! No problem. So Hadathana Yaqub. Yaqub. Hadathana Ibrahim. And it goes. The Hadathana keep going. Hadathana. Hadathana. We can even sing with it. Hadathana. Hadathana. Now, look. Musin Khan is going to lie to them. When he's translating in English, I'll show you the mishap. I'm going to quote this part. Man Ahadatha. 
fi amrina huh? then here he says haza ma laysa fihi fa huwa raddu this is how he translated it narrated aisha he shortened the narrated by narrated by he shortened it so musin khan is lying to you in the translation by not giving you the full gist so now he shortened it as a narrated aisha and he says allah's messenger subhanallah to fear kwa god forbid for god's messenger to speak in this book kind of book so allah's messenger said they are going to lie to him attribute falsehood to the prophet the honorable man if somebody innovates something which is not present in our religion then that thing will be rejected this is their own hadith book i'm refurbishing it when we say refurbish something in the garbage you try to make it new right to to refurbish so that you can use huh now this is their own book i'm just refurbishing it to you right my translation of the quran the english i use the global english is way better than this kind of english this man used to translate their hadith books but check if somebody innovates something which is not present in our religion then that thing will be rejected this is what your sahih al-bukhari book says this is your book you want to know is sahih bukhari let me take you to the front page this is the book this is the front page here here this is sahih al-bukhari arabic to english volume three translated by dr muhammad muhsin khan who is a sunni mushrik by the way right okay so ladies and gentlemen i just refurbish their hadith books for them their hadith book i quoted the hadith book there is no single hadith book in arabic or the tafasirs in arabic that calls the prophet nabil kudus or nabil muqaddas it doesn't exist i put the challenge to the mushriks bring me any hadith book you have in arabic open it put it down quote to me in arabic and show me where it says nabil muqaddas or nabil kudus i apologize to those on tiktok you cannot see the screen kindly watch the playback on facebook or youtube with the same name correctional officer bush tujina you see me live watch it you see everything the mushriks have fell into my trap by sending an amateur claiming to finish university in ghana and, and doesn't understand english oh i gave him free lesson I'm, i don't need his money though so now i just quoted their hadith you saw it on the screen their hadith says if you innovate that means you invent or you put something in the din which is not there that thing will be rejected so now i'm helping you the mushriks by telling you stop calling the prophet holy prophet it is not in even in your garbage books it's not there and to talk about the best book the quran it's not written nabil kudus you find rule kudus you find what the muqaddas is there quran chapter 16 verse 102 ruhul kudus is there holy spirit you find what the muqaddas is chapter 79 verse 16 holy valley of tua is there god calls it holy if god calls something holy you can call it holy where does god call the prophet nabil kudus or nabil muqaddas you are foolishly attributing holiness to this honorable man if i'm saying he's not holy doesn't mean i disrespect him i respect the prophet muhammad quran chapter 7 verse 157 and those who believe with him and respect him and honor him and follow the light which god has revealed with him they are those who will be successful and i do all that and you mushrik salafiya bozo you think you ha huh, you step on the wrong foot now we have finished the issue of dalan the second issue we are going to asla this guy say asla zukumbanza he doesn't know the difference of yesla and asla they are not the same yesla come from the word sala sala ya asla is a different thing asla is a different word this guy doesn't know what we call usul or we call asla asal asli to root the foundation of something he doesn't know the difference between burn and the root or foundation of something he doesn't know and he claims he have the garbage books behind him let me show the garbage books in case people don't know the garbage books i'm talking about this is the guy the bozu this is him the garbage books behind him do you see this garbage books behind him he with all these books he doesn't know the difference between yesla and asla 
Okay, so let's help him. Let's educate him a bit. The bozo. Bozo. Take a screen now. Bozo. Come on. Ah, let's go. So now, let's go. I'm going to play his video of the bozo and listen what he has to say. And he says, Asla. So listen. So yes, la. This yes, la means to be burned. So yes, la na aranzat la. He will be burned in the fire, possessing what flames. So yes, la. This yes, la means to be burned. So yes, la na aranzat la. He will be burned in the fire, possessing what flames. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. So ladies and gentlemen, you watch the part, and I said. And I said, say yes, la na ranza talaha. This guy thinks to translate the Quran, I just have to go to Google and translate. I'm based in Finland, a country which has all the resources I can use to translate a book. Dummy, do you think I have to be in Saudi Arabia to translate an Arabic book? Jackass. Say yes, la na ranza talaha. Quran chapter 111. I translated it. I went to Alaja, Africa. Kudos to the brother. So a respected brother in US. He respect me a lot and I respect him too. I went to his platform. He gave me the platform. These Mushriks don't like it. They hate it when I'm giving such a honor to be on such platforms. And God will keep elevating me and you will keep biting your hands in rage and bleeding. Mushriks. So I went there. So yes, this guy is going to say that I made a mistake by saying he will ban in the fire possessing flames. And he said, I made a mistake. The, yes, the word yesla doesn't mean burn in the Quran. Look what he's going to do. Once again, guys, so I left something in the long video and my brother just reminded me after I was done with the video <clears throat> on Baba Jahili reciting the Quran and translating some Quranic verses. Here, he was translating the verse say yesla, thinking that, um, how do you call it? Translation will help him, okay? What they do is they think, okay, okay, let me go to English translation, and then that is all. This is Lisan al Arab. Again, this bozo, he leaves the Quran, he goes to Lisan al Arab again by Ibn Manzur, translated in the 13th, uh, like written in the 13th century, right? And this guy, the, the five sources he took, he didn't even took it from the Quran. He took from other people's books and their opinions and whatever translation uh, of the lexicon they made, right? So this bozo is going to use Lisan and Arab again to mess up because he doesn't know what we call asli, the root word of a word. In Arabic, we have the trilateral root word. Huh? And this bozo doesn't know. So he took a dictionary. Now, this is the problem when you give a car to an inexperienced driver to drive alone. That is what happened. So he took Lisan and Arab. He is going to open to prove the correctional officer wrong and say, I translated yes, la to be banned and it's wrong. He forgot I'm the correctional officer. Okay. Okay, this is Lisan al-Arab, the tongue of the Arabs, meaning... He messed up again, the tongue of the Arabs. Like the original Arabic, not... The original Arabic, I already taught him. That is not original. Book made in the 13th century. And the person who made it, Ibn Manzur, he copied from other five sources. That is not original. The university graduating from Ghana, he doesn't know the meaning of original. So he says original, language of the Arabs. The one spoken on the streets of Yemen, Medina, Dubai. Okay? This is Lisan al-Arab. The word yasla, which is from the, um, how do you call it? From the word uh, asla. So you see how he was struggling. Well, yasla, he's, uh, 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 he doesn't know. When we say kataba, salaya, <laughs> this guy doesn't know. <laughs> so he says he's from the word. Um, mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. Let me put. I feel like crying. I feel like crying, eh? I love you, You see. <laughs> so now he said yes, la. The word comes from the word. <laughs> now let's see. Uh, which they were thinking. He said it comes from asla. Yabaru, kabaru, big time. I'm going to help you. Now the word. Yes, la. Huh? I'm going to take you to Sahih International and I'm going to put it on the page, right? So now let's go to Sahih International. 
Ha, Bozu. Sidik Bozu. Kabaru big time. You step on the toes of correctional officer. Ha, Kabaru. Correctional officer. Ka step kan kafana. Tona. Kabaru. Big time. This is the screen. Unfortunately, you cannot see it from TikTok, but this is the screen. When we say yes, la. Now the sa put in front is a prefix. So normally when you see sa, 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 it's to represent a, what we call mudari. That is feel mudari. Mudar is a present tense or future tense. You can use for present or future tense. So when we say feel mudari, it's a verb which has to do with the present or future tense, right? Then we have feel madi or madi. That is to talk about the past tense. But now when you say sayas light, it's something coming in the future. So now this is Sahih International, not me, not Baba Shai, Quran.com, Sahih International, Quran Corpus. Huh? If you go to Quran Corpus, they have the breakdown of the instance of the words. So Quran Corpus, Corpus, they will tell you the root word, and then they will tell you how the connotations have been done, and then the prefix, suffix, and affix, and whatever affix, affix. You know, uh -huh. So yes, la. It comes from the word salaya, not asla. It comes from the word salaya. But this bozo doesn't know. Siddiq, bozo, mushrik, salafiya, bozo, from the cult, Sunni cult, doesn't know this. So he said it's from asla. Let's educate him for free. So this is Sahih International I put on the page. So let's listen to the bozo. Because they are using translation. Let's look at what Asla means in the first place. So now he made a mistake by even going and saying the root word is Asla, which is educated bozo. No, you are not educated. Uh, no, you made a mistake. It's not Asla. You are supposed to say Salah, Salah, ya. That is the root word, not Asla. Asla has a different meaning. Okay. Now, before I open uh, Lisan al Arab, check this quickly. Because a mistake again, Lisan al Arab. Okay. Because uh, since they are used to Google, let them go and check on Google. So now he's going to go to his own dictionary. He will open it. I'll play it. That is what he, where he was going, right? His own dictionary, right? Okay. On Lisan al Arab. The word Yasla, which is from there, um, how do you call it? From the word uh, asla, this is where he mess up. From the word asla, kekagani, ushirikim banza. Let's see. From the word asla, zukum banza. You will see. From the word asla, okay. So Baba Shrib, how did you translate sayasla? How did Baba Shraib translate Sayas La Naranzata? Like you saw it on the video when he played it, right? So I'm going to show you. Now, Sayas La Naranzata Lahab. Am I the only one who translated it as burn? No. So let's check. Sahih International. He says he will burn in a fire of flame. Sahih International. That's a Sunni website. Musin Khan, who is another Sunni scholar, translated the Quran from Arabic to English. He says he will be burnt in a fire of blazing flames. Yusuf Ali, Sunni, again, burnt soon will he be in a fire of blazing flame. Shakir, he shall soon burn in a fire that of flames. Dr. Gali, he will roast uh, like a kebab, you know, uh, at a flaming fire. Baba Shrib, what mistake did I do? What mistake did I do? Okay, this is the mistake the guy said I did. So yes, la. This yes, la means to be burned. So yes, la na aranzata la. He will be burned in the fire, possessing what flames. So this is where he say I made a mistake. That means I shouldn't say he'll be bent. I didn't start it. Your scholar started it. But I did well study before translating like that. You want to blame me? Say I translated yesla. And you said the root word of yesla is asla, zukum, banza, bozo, dummy, miscreant. Siddiq, you don't know root word. Trilateral root word. You said asla. Ha. 
<laughs> I'll go to the Quran and show you the difference between Asla and then Salah. You will see it. Okay, you, we are going to Bozo. We let's pre, pre, uh, play your next video, Bozo. Your next video, this is what he said before I crush you. I'm going to your next video, which is Yesla. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be down by three hours. Yesla has nothing to do with fire. It has nothing to do with unless that unless it is connected to something else. Unless the guy doesn't understand English. He said yes la has nothing to do with fire. We saw your scholars translate yes la to mean to be burned. And they even mentioned flame and whatever, roasting, whatever, whatever, whatever. Your scholars did, not me, Baba Shrai. And Baba Shrai went on a program to say, yes, sir, yes, la, na, ranzat, lahab. And you are mad with me. You think I'm making a mistake. Bozo. Now listen. Yes, it is in a certain context. But where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, yes, la, here is from the kalima, asla. He messed up again. And then he says, when God says, yes, la, it is from the kalima, from the word, asla, zukum, banza, sidik, bozo. So you, with all the garbage books behind you, you think you know Arabic. You've studied Arabic. Ha, you want to joke with the correctional officer. You don't know me, right? I'll mess you up. I keep telling you my skits, my videos. You don't think, you think I'm joking, right? Ha, Sidik. Yes, la comes from the word asla, zukum, banza. Now look at the mess he's going to make with the English, English language. Asla means you're, how do you call it? You are going to be grounded into something. He says, Asla means you are going to be grounded into something. Zukumbanza, you don't know the meaning, the difference between ithim. When we say ism, ithim is a noun in Arabic. He doesn't know a noun and he doesn't know what we call a feel, which is verb. So he says, Asla means to be grounded. The Asla used in the Quran has to do with roots. So in Arabic, when we say Asli or Aslu or Asla, or we say Usul, which is the plural form of the word Asli, it is mean roots foundations, sources, like the source of something, foundation of something, firmly established. That is Asla. So now look at the mess. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that Yasla Naron, Abu, Thab, Abu, Abu uh, how, how do you call him? Abu Lahab is going to be grounded in the hellfire. So now, Baba Shraib says, so Yasla Naron Zata Lahab. I said he will be burnt in the hellfire. That guy says it doesn't mean to be burnt. Now he's going to explain, he says, he says Asla, which he doesn't agree is burnt. But then he's translating and he said, Asla means to be grounded. And then he again said, Yesla has nothing to do with hellfire. Fire. Then again, he says, about, about, uh, 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 how do I say? Uh, Abilab will now be grounded in the hellfire. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not making this up. Listen to the bozo. He's... It's disturbing the English language. <laughs> I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love you, <laughs> Let's go back, please. Let's go back. Listen, listen to it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that Yasla Naron, Abu Thab, Abu, Abu uh, how, how do you call him? Abu Lahab is going to be grounded in the hellfire. Ladies and gentlemen, now he is saying Abu Lahab is going to be grounded in the hellfire. Excuse me, if something, somebody is in the hellfire, what is he doing? Is he burning or is he showering? Or is he, what is he doing? So he's not burning in the fire fire, it's not burning, right? And again, he'll be grounded in Hausa. We say Kanzo in Ghana, for those who are listening to me. Kanzo means the black side of the pot, down. So when you are grounded, even in the Kanzo side, what does that do to you? It doesn't burn you, right? So he says, As, yes, La has nothing to do with fire. And you say the root word is Asla. And then you mess up again with English language and you say it's to be grounded in something. Then in what? Then you mention hellfire. Does he know hellfire? The word fire is attached to the word hell. Akrobatu. <laughs> Bozo. <laughs> In the pit of hellfire. That is Yasla Naran. Again, you'll be grounded in the pit of hellfire. So it doesn't mean burn, right? Ha, what a jackass. This bozo, miscreant, dummy. Uh, <laughs> so the scholar sent you, you, 
Sidik, you are an amateur. I needed somebody better. No, what your scholars in Ghana don't even speak good English. So that's why they cannot face me. And if you send somebody from University of Ghana and you are an amateur, come on. You have to do better, Sidik. Please, please, let's don't cry. Don't cry. He said, I feel what I, I feel like crying, eh? Yeah, I love you, Shirike. <laughs> so let's go, Sidik. The Nar here then becomes uh, how do you call it? So he's going to start what his slave masters taught him. He's going to start the Keche. And then the ignorant bozos who are listening to him, the Mushriks, the Salafiyah, the Sunnis, the Mushriks who are listening to him, like I said, may, get caught, may God curse all of these people who are against the Quran and against me, Baba Shai, thinking I'm the one against God and Islam. May God curse you. Wallahi. And in broad daylight, people will see your madness. You see, people will see it. And I'm showing people your madness. Yeah. That is, it means that is where... The this is where they tell their audience what the audience don't understand. <laughs> they tell their audience what the audience don't understand. Then the audience will be Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, hey, Sheikh Bayaka, I love you, Sheikh, for the sake of Allah. This is what they do. The person is going to be dragged into. So you thinking it is bent, if it is burning, then it will be Zarful, Zarful Makan. So your scholars, Muhsin Khan, translated it as burned. Yusuf Ali, burned. Sahih International, burned. Dr. Gali, burned. Who is it? Shakir, burned. So, the Azukai as well. Eh? So I translated as burned. And you said Asli means to be grounded. So if somebody is grounded in the fire, what does that become? Oh, uh, it doesn't become burned. If somebody is in the fire and it's being grounded, it's still not burning. Maybe it's showering. In the shower, right? Mm. Uh, okay, Sidik. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Sidik. I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love you. <laughs> you are not my match, please. Uh, let's go. Sidik, let's go. You've done with the Shirmi. Our next level, we are going now. I'm not done with you. You see. So now when we say asla, look, asla, let's go to the Quran. It's a noun. Huh? It's a noun, isn't it? So a noun, this ithim, we go, isn't So let's go to a noun. I'm going to show you something. So when we say yesla, it comes from the word salaya, that is salah, meaning to burn, to roast, and so on. So when we say yesla, I'm going to show you yesla, and I show you asla. So he Siddiq says asla. So I'm going to the Quran to show you asla, what it means. So we go to Quran chapter 14. I share the screen. We go to 14, verse 24. Chapter 14, verse 24. And I'll put it on the screen. So let's share the screen and let's see, right? So this is the Quran. Here. God says, Alam tara kaifa daraballahu mathalan. Ah, kalimatan tayyiba. Then he says, kashajarat, ah, kashajaratin tayyiba. Then he says, asluha. This is the word. Asluha, which is asla. So asluha, which its roots. So it is translated as, yes. have you not seen how God cites the example of a good word like a good tree? Because a tree has a what? Asla or aslu or asli, which is what? The root. So the plural form was what we call usul in Arabic language, which is the foundation, the source, the ground, the, you understand, the firm side, that is the root, the source. Okay. So the next example, we go to Quran chapter 37 verse 64. Chapter 37 verse 64. Again, we are going to check the asla. So when we say here, it says, Innaha shajaratul takroju fi asli jahim. So here it says, indeed, it is a tree which will come forth in the root, the asli of what? Hellfire, jahim. 
So we see asli. You see asli? That is the word. Asli. So when the bozo is keep saying that yasla means asla, this is the word he doesn't know. That this is asla is different from what? Salah. Okay, we go again. Then the next example is found in Quran chapter 59 verse 5. In Quran chapter 59, verse 5, God used the word in a plural form, in the like in Jama'u. Uh, we have Mufrad and then we have Jama'u. We have singular and then plural. So in plural, it says Usuliha. If you go to the word Allah Usuliha, Usuliha comes from the word Asla. So Usuliha is the what? Plural form of the word Asla. So that is the plural form. Usuliha, meaning the roots or its roots. Okay, so this bozo quoted Asla and he thinks that is the rule because he has been given the dictionary Lisan and Arab and he doesn't know how to use it. He doesn't know what we call Asli of a word, the root of a word, the trilateral root. The Arabic language is unique in that sense. So you can go to the Ihirab and find the three uh, root of a, a word. Now, so now let's go and see Yesla, right? Yesla. Now, this bozo. He made a claim. So let me let you listen to him and listen to the claim he made concerning the Yasla. Right? So I'm going to play the Bozo's video. So this Bozo, this is what he said. Yasla has nothing to do with fire. It has nothing to do with unless that unless it is connected to something else unless it is in a certain context but where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said yes here is from the kalima asla asla means you are how do you call it you are going to be grounded into something and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that yes naron abu thab abu abu uh, how, how do you call him abu lahab is going to be grounded in the hellfire in the pit of hellfire that is yes naron the nar here then becomes uh, how do you call it? Mafurulum bihi mansur. Wa ala matu nas bihi al fatihatu vahira fi akhiri. Okay, let's leave the bozu. Now, bozu, let's go and show you yesla in the Quran where it means burn. It actually means burn. It comes from the word sa la ya. And it means burn. Yesla. Okay. So now I take you to Quran chapter 84, verse 12. Let's go and show you yesla. Chapter 84, verse 12. So chapter 84, verse 12, I share the screen and let's see. 84, verse 12. In 84, verse 12, God says, Wayasla sa'ira. Wayasla sa'ira. So you see, and he and will burn in flames and will burn in flames, which his scholars translated it as the same, the Yasla. So if it is Siddiq's opinion or the Bozo's opinion, he will say, and he will be grounded in, to, grounded in flames. If you are grounded in flames, is it not burning still? Let's assume we agree with you, right? If we agree what you're saying, even if you are grounded in fire, is it not burning still? Bozo. <clears throat> Again, you want to know Yasla, you go to 87 verse 12. You want to know Yasla, again, you go to 92 verse 14 to 15. You see Yasla there. Now listen to what his slave masters taught him. As he said, the, what the slave masters taught him, the slave master taught him that Asla is the word. And he doesn't know how to use the words of his slave master. That is a problem. So let's go to his next video. This guy also that doesn't know when i said wamuratu amalat al hatab he said no the wamuratu doesn't mean his wife so we are going to see what the bozo said so let's play your video again Siddiq, the bozo listen wamuratu amalat al hatab so and his wife when we say okay so this when he was talking about um, woman, translating uh, how do you call it translating imra'a and saying that imra'a means wife Imran means wife. So now he said I made a mistake by translating Wamuratu Ammahalat al Hatab, meaning it doesn't mean wife. This is what the Bozu said, right? Chapter 11, 111, verse 4. Chapter 111, verse 4. He said it doesn't mean wife. 
I translated this at wife. Your scholars translated as, as wife. So let's check what you translated, how they translated it. So let's go to your scholars. So we are going to ask your scholars who translated that verse. How did they translate it? Wamaratu amalat al hatab. Right? So let's check. For those on TikTok, you cannot see it. So this is the on the screen, Facebook and YouTube. Wamuratuhu Ammalat al Hatab. Sahih International and his wife. Muhsin Khan and his wife. Yusuf Ali and his wife. D Shakir and his wife. Dr. Gali and his wife. Baba Shwaib and his wife. Bozu Mushrik Jahilim Banza. He said, I translate Wamuratu as wife. So let's go back to the Quran. Again, I'm going to teach him for free. I'm going to show you something for free. Siddiq Bozu, right? Wamuratu Hamalat al Hatab. It's originally, uh, literally, it means woman. But when it's put in the context with a man or somebody else showing a gender, an opposite gender, that becomes the wife to show you that that is the person's wife. It's just like me saying to my wife, telling somebody that, oh, that is my woman. It's literally, technically, then literally, it means my wife. Good. So now we are going to the Quran. When you go to Quran chapter 3, verse 35, wife of Imran. So I'm going to put it on the screen. Chapter 3, verse what? 35. I'm going to put it on the screen. Let's see. Omuratu, can it mean your wife? Or does it mean your wife? So Siddiq the Bozo doesn't know that. So I'm going to teach him for free, right? Okay. So we go. I share the screen and let's start dealing with this bozo. So here we put on the screen. So now, Quran chapter 3, verse 35. Is Kalat Imaratun Imran? Is Ka Ka Leti Imratu Imran? Right? So Imratu Imran. How does it mean? How is it being translated? When the wife of Amram. Or we can say when the woman of Amram, but still means wife, logically. The dead jackass says no. Wife, Imarat, Wamuratu doesn't mean wife. So he doesn't know Arabic in the first place. And he said, they said he's been sent to face correctional officer. Ha, huh. amateur. I don't do amateurs, by the way, because that child abuse. I'm older than him, by the way. I'm his elder brother. I, I'm older than him. He's born. <laughs> no, I don't want to expose this. You know, I'm older than him. He's a young boy. So <clears throat> the next evidence, we go to Quran chapter 3, verse 40. The wife of Zakaria, Wamarat, you go and check. Chapter 7, verse 83, the wife of Lut, Wamarat. Chapter 66, verse 10, the wife of Nu and Lut is there. Chapter 66, verse 11, the wife of Fir'aun, Wamarat, is there. This guy says Wamarat is wrong. So let's go to the next part. We are going to go about the issue of tartil. So God, this guy, when I say waratil al Quran tartila, I was talking in a context and I said something. He misquoted me and I and he said I said it means singing. So we are going to check what happened. I'm going to play the bozo's video. Now listen carefully what happened here. So this bozo, I take your video. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be done soon. So I go to your video. This is what you said concerning what? Tartil. And the mistake he did is he went to quote one of his scholars, right? According to Abu Mansur, he said. So this is what happened. This is and this is where he struggled. Abu Mansur. This guy was just holding the Arabic book in his hand like this, one passage, and he's struggling. And he said, I'm struggling to recite a verse. And he's struggling. Now listen what the garbage is going to spew. They said Tandid, they called the Lugat al Arab, Arab, Lugat al Dhad. When they said Tandid, meaning you are reciting the, um, the passage or whatever you are, you are reciting in the pure of utterance of the Arabic language. That is what we mean by tertil, according, according to, to uh, the Arab Mansur. 
I feel like crying, eh? Hey, I love you, hmm. In the book, he read it and he doesn't know according to. Now, you see, he kept saying, I keep saying according to, according to. And he himself said, according to Abu Manso. Oh, Siddiq, Bozo. You said it yourself. I didn't say it. According to Abu Manso. And I told you, all your books is according to, according to. You are uh, upset with me. No problem. So now you are going to give me the meaning of Tartil. Huh? Tartil, according to Abu Mansur, and he took a book, Lisan al Arab, or any book he's reading from, and he is telling me, according to Abu Mansur, this is Tartil, what it means, according to your scholars. No problem. So, what we are going to do is, I'm going to put this on the screen. Check what I'm going to do to you, Sidiq. You are a bozo, by the way, miscreant. So, let's check. Sahih International. I'm going to put it on the screen. And you see, uh, this tortilla, what happened? So on the screen. So this is on the screen for those on Facebook and YouTube, right? It says, Awuzid alayhi wa ratila al-Qur'ana tortilla. Sahih so international. Or add to it and recite the Qur'an with measure, measured recitation. Musin Khan. Or a little more and recite the Qur'an in a slow style. Meaning pleasant tone. Okay, Yusuf Ali, a little more and recite the Quran in slow, measured, rhythmic tone. Rhythmic tone. Okay, Shakir, or add to it and recite the Quran as it ought to be recited. Now, the word they keep using recite, recite, never means ratil or ratal. Recite in Arabic is utlu, etlu, yetlu, uh, tatlu. Tilawa, it means recite. Your scholars use the word recite, recite. God will have said, Awzid alayhi wa atlu wa utlu wa tatlu wa tatlu al-Quran. He will have said that. Just like in Quran chapter 98, verse 2 to verse 3, Rasulu min Allah yatlu suhu from mutahara fiha kutubun kwayima. God will have said, you should recite. God never said recite. He said, Awzid alayhi. Then he says, Waratile al Quran tartila. Infinite wisdom by God. He will have said, Recite the Quran. He will have said, Ikra, or read the Quran. But he says, Waratil. The bozo doesn't understand Ratil. And I would go, I'm going to teach you. This is what your scholars have translated. Try to twist words, put words which are not there. I'm going to help you. This is what they said. So now I'm going to play my video. Listing what I said in the video and now listing what the bozo will accuse me of. Oh, maybe it's, it's a mistake he made in one just one verse. <laughs> hey, Uban Jahili, correctional officer. Uh, Anybody who tells you music or singing is haram, ask him why is it that the Quran, God says, the word tertil means you are doing it in a monotonous way. Now, listen carefully to what I said. Anybody who says singing or music is haram, for those who have watched my last lecture, you understand what I mean. Go to YouTube, listen to my lecture on aliens on earth. Listen to my lectures on aliens on earth. It, must, it was my life, life uh, last life section I did. Listen to that. You understand what I mean. Now, when I was talking here, listen carefully. I, I like using this word a lot. I, I would keep telling my audience, listen carefully. Listen what I said. Correction officer. Uh, Anybody who tells you music or singing is haram, ask him, why is it that the Quran, God says, the word tartila means you are doing it in a monotonous way, like in a singing form. So then I said, you are doing it in a monotonous way, like, then I use the word like, meaning resemblance. I didn't say it is the same. I said in resemblance, like, like. So this phone is like iPhone. Doesn't mean the phone, this is iPhone. No, it's like, so when you do it in a monotonous way, that is the ratil or ratal. So that the ones who recite the Quran, the recitation you are listening to, the music one, the chanting one, we call it muratal. This muratal, if they are going to do this muratal, the ones they are doing, 
The one who does the murattal is called murattil. You can Google it, search it. Ask any Arabian speaker who is an expert, he will tell you. So people like Ali Jabir, Mishari, uh, Maturud, uh, Abdul Basit, the singing, the chanting they are doing is called murattal. The one who does it is called murattil. We don't call it tilawa. That is not a recitation. If you am reciting something, is I'll just sit here. Just like for those who have been to school, when they tell you to recite multiplication table, for those who have in Ghana, you know what is multiplication table, right? Mental. Two, one, two, 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 four, two, three, six, two, four, eight. From your memory. That is recitation. You are doing it off hand, right? So you are doing it from the head and you're saying it. That is recite. When we say read, you have it in front of you and you're watching and you are reading. That is read. But when we say ratil, that is something you have to do it in a monotonous way. And that is how we have the monotonous fashion of Quran today. That's why Quran is being done in a chanting form so that it can suit your soul. That is why God, this is what inspired that. And that's why God says, waratil al Quran tartila. And I'm going to help you. You will see the evidence that this bozo doesn't know, right? Okay. So when we say monotonous, let's go to the dictionary. And I'm going to help you here. When we say monotonous, I put it to the dictionary. I'm almost coming to an end, right? Uh huh. I will make him cry. He has to cry. If we say monotonous, this is what it means. I'm going to put it on the screen. And then you see monotonous. Share the screen. Now, when we say monotonous, sounded or spoken in a tone on varying in pitch, right? On varying in pitch, that is monotonous. So I said, this is what I said when he played my video. When on the video, this music is haram. Singing is haram. Ask him why is it that the Quran God says waratil al Quran tartila. The word tartil means you are doing it in a monotonous way. Like in a singing form. So I said, like in a singing form. This is what I said. Like in a singing form. I didn't say you are singing, singing. Like in a singing form. Because what you are doing is chanting. Right? There's a difference. Okay. So if music is haram, which means reciting the Quran in a monotonous fashion is haram. as well. So then the Mushriks, the Sunnis, the Shias or whatever, they keep telling you music is haram. But they have these nasheeds they listen to. These nasheeds are all classified as a music. If you are listening to any nasheed, if you know nasheed during Ramadan, they, they play these kind of songs, but uh, I, have, they, I forgot their names, the Ahmed or something, they have this nasheed. They, these are all like chanting, and these are all classified as music. So the Quran, when they are doing the murattal, this murattal is the chanting you hear when Ali Jabir or Mishari or Matru does, that is murattal. This murattal, is the one doing it is called muratil. Now this muratil, the one doing it, they do what they call ratil or ratal. So what they are doing is tartil, bil tartil. And I'll show you the dictionary and I'll show you everything. Don't rush. Correctional officer will show you. Good. So this guy is going to accuse me that I said the word ratil means singing. I said like monotonous, like singing. I didn't say it means singing. But no problem. Listen to him. Well, guy, let's listen to him again. Now, singing, singing means tartil. So now you hear what he said. He said singing means tartil. And now Quran chapter 25, verse 44. God says, do you think that most of them listen or reason? They are just like livestock, God says. Kel -an -an. They are just like livestock. Because they do not reason. And God says livestock is even better than them because these mushriks, they are far astray. Right? So if you have a good listener, you have a good student. If you have a bad listener, you have a bad student. So now, listen to this student, who is a bad one. When you say tertil, that's singing. So singing means tertil. Did I say singing means tertil? No. I use the word monotonous, right? Okay. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajoon. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajoon. Anybody who tells you music or singing is haram, ask him, why is it that the Quran, God says, waratil al Quran atar? Okay, good. So now I'm going to show you something here. We've already seen what the scholars actually translate, right? 
Okay, so I'm going to show you this on the screen. We go to uh, Quran Corpus, right? And that is that is Quran.com. So Sahih International, chapter 73, verse 4, where you find what? Waratil al Quran Tartila. So now on the screen, you see here they translated it with measured rhythmic recitation. The word recitation can be found in Quran chapter 2, verse 121, which means tilawa. Tilawa is recitation. But when we say tartil, it doesn't mean recitation, neither does it mean reading. It is chanting, monotonous fashion. Now, so tartil here, it comes from the word ratala. Ratala. That is the root word. Good. So I'm going to help you out. So what I'm going to show you now is when we say ratal, let me share a screen here. Let me put this here. I'll come here. Let me put, I'm opening something here. Let me show you. Here, I'm going to open two dictionaries to show you something in this archaic dictionaries. And I'm going to show you something on the screen. So let me share the screen first. For those watching the screen, you can see it. So let me open it, then you can see what I'm trying to open. So I'll share the screen here. Share. So this is the dictionary. I'm going to show you something. This is ra. I go ra, then I go tell la. Anybody who needs this website, I can give you later. You can go arabic.fi right i can help you with this i'm only using this when i'm when i'm trying to teach something right okay so let's go like this i refresh the page then i put ra ta la so here this is rattal on the screen rattal here articulate carefully by chanting that is rattal so the one who does the rattal is called muratil what he is doing is called muratal that is an adjective right so this muratal that they are doing the chanting the one who does it is called muratil so we have ali jabir mishari abdul basit and so on so the word the root word is ratala so ratil means to chant so here Ratila, be well ordered because when you are chanting, you are making it in a well ordered fashion. That's why you and I love to listen to the kira'a when they are doing the chanting. That is the muratal. Now, look at the dictionary here. There's muratil. They translated it as singer. I wouldn't translate it as singer, but of course, the one singing is like doing chanting. It's a chanting form. Then Muratal is the, the thing being sung. That is the chanting itself they are doing is the muratal. This is not Baba Shraib making up things. Listen carefully. I'm going to another dictionary. And this dictionary is Almani. I'm going to put the word here. Huh? I'm putting ratala to show you something. Now this ratala, ratila, or ratal, or ratal, this is the translation. Be in good order, be regular, be uh, uh, symmetrical, be well arranged, be well ordered, be well organized. So when you are doing tartil, when you are doing tartil of the Quran, because if Mishari is doing the tartil, if uh, Abdul Basi is doing tartil, it's so well ordered, it's so nicely. They do the tajweed, it goes, like this you understand that is what we call tertil and it's chanting that's how it's done it's the chanting it is not recitation it is not reading in arabic quran chapter 2 verse 121 tilawa means recitation quran means reading then we have the word tertil which is not recitation which is not reading which is chanting so yes, you do it in a monotonous fashion. Okay. Now I'm going to add the word meme in front, uh, the letter meme in front of the word ratala. So this, this is what it will give me. 
When I put it here, check the translation. Muratil is person uttering with a particular tone. A person who sings repeated tunes is called a muratil because he does the ratala. So tartil. Okay, no problem. Let's leave this issue here and go back. Sidiq, I'm teaching you for free. Free, free. Okay. Now, let me close some of the pages. I'm almost done, ladies and gentlemen. I said three hours. I'm almost done. Don't, don't be exhausted because I'll be cut later on. I am shorter, then you can enjoy the video. How I whip this guy. Basa, 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 basa. So when we say rattel, you add the prefix, which is the mu rattel or mu rattil, because you do the rattala. So this rattala, when it's used in another form, it becomes the tartil. So that is the chanting. So now, what does the, ch the word chanting, what does it mean? When we say chanting, let me put it here on the screen. Yeah, I share the screen, then you see what is meant by chanting. When you go to the dictionary, when we say intonate, it speak carefully as with rising and falling pitch or in a particular tone, that is to intonate something. So if you check my translation, I translated as it as intonate the Quran by chanting. That is the correct translation. I'm going to put it on the screen so that people will know the translation I did for that verse. Chapter 73, verse 4. Right? So let me share the screen. The people will know what I translated for that verse. Right? So here is the verse. So this is my translation. Then he says, and exit over it and intonate the Quran by chanting. This is the best translation you can ever find for this statement. Then I said, whoever tells you this type of monotonous chanting, singing, whatever is haram, then why are your scholars doing the singing, the chanting? Why are they doing that? That's my, the context of the video, what I said. But this mushrik thing I'm seeing, it means singing. No problem. So intonate the Quran by chanting. So what does the word chanting mean? Then I put it on the screen. So chanting, this is the meaning. Intonate, which, in, which means chanting. Chanting, recite with musical intonation. That is why the Quran sounds like music in your ears when they are doing the muratal. Baba Shraib is not inventing something new. I'm not telling you something that is unprecedented. It's there, but you haven't studied carefully like me. I translated the Quran with sincerity. I'm not dumb like some of your mushrik scholars. Okay, recite with musical intonation. Recite as a chant or a psalm. That is intonation and that is chanting. Okay, now, so let's go back. I'm going to play his video of the challenge he made. I'm going I'm bringing this topic to an end. I'm going to play his video for the challenge he made to show that this bozo is you know, it's an amateur, you know, like uh, I'll crash him, I'll crash him. The bozo is not up to the task, right? So this is the bozo on the screen. So anybody, this is the bozo on the screen. You see the bozo? <laughs> yeah, bozo this bozo is fine, boy. Uh, among the baboons, he will win an award. Okay, so this is the bozo. Salafia Sunni cult member, he's a mushrik, right? I gave him the verse, Quran chapter 30, verse 32. They have, they have the pride that they are Sunni. They are Ali Sunna Wal Jama. They are Sunni. They are Mushriks. Okay. You are a Mushrik. Be proud. No problem. So I'm going to play your video. Uh, I've whipped you enough. So I have to let my audience actually get some rest. Right? So let me, let me play your video. So this is the challenge the guy put forth hmm? uh sorry no, sorry the tartil sorry sorry i'm going back there was one video before i play his last video sorry i apologize he is going to give you the definition of tartila according to his scholars tartil 
Let's look at Tartil in the Arabic language. That Tartil means singing or music. So now he went back to his scholars, which is from a book called Lisan al-Arab, written in the 13th century. He's going to tell us the meaning of Tartil. Tartil doesn't mean any of them. This is Ibn Manzur. This is volume five. And he goes again to Ibn Manzur, who actually didn't coin the word himself. He copied it from other books, five books to write from the 13th century, right? Page 154. This is so he's going back to his slave masters for help. Whilst Baba Shrive is just sitting next to you, I'm your neighbor. Manzur, so go and check. Tartil is from the word Rattala. Yes, we agree. Rattala, yes. Rattala yu rattilu tartilan. Wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, awzida alayhi wa rattili al-Qur'ana tartilan. You say tartil means singing. I never said it means singing. We saw the video. I never said it means singing. Listen to uh, the tongue of the Arabs. Ancient Arabs, when they say tartil, what does it mean? So now, instead of going to the tongue of the Quran, well, Quran al Hakim, the wise Quran, to understand the Quran, you are going to your still slave masters to tell you. And you say the tongue of the Arabs, a book written in the 13th century, which is not derived from the Lisanun Arabiyun Mubin, Quran chapter 16, verse 103. The Quran is a clear Arabic language. You leave that book you from the 7th century. And you go to the 13th century to Ibn Manzur to tell you what Tertil means. Okay. The, the Lugha, the language in which the Quran was sent, when they say Tertil, what do they mean? Warattal al kalam when we say that a speech has been done, Tertil, what does he mean? Ahsan, ahsana ta'ali, ahsana ta'alifahu, wa abanahu, wa tamahala fihi. When they say that a speech has been made, Tertil, Warattala, meaning meaning its recitation has been made um how do you call it perfect meaning it's um how do you call it narration or reciting of the thing has been brought out very well so you can say meaning in its perfect form of uh, narration or recitation so that is tertil that is Ahsan Ta'alifahu. The person who did it has done what? Has made the narration, has brought out everything. Wa'abanahu. The person has made every letter in that word clear. Wa'tamahalafihi. The person didn't recite that thing by rushing. And that is the command Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Awzira alayhi wa rattili al-Qur'ana tartila. Meaning, recite the Qur'an and make sure every harf comes out. Dude, the word rattal, tartil, doesn't mean recite. Another bozo again. The word recite in Arabic, you know. Recitation is tilawa. If God wants him to recite, he says, utlu, atlu, atlu, tetlu, yetlu, dummy. That is recite in Quran. It's written there. Rasulu min Allah, yetlu, suhu from mutahara. The same God with infinite wisdom told him, Waratilil Quran. He says, Waratilil Quran tartila. You are still using the word recite. No problem. God says, You said it means Garfilan. Dumb as Jack as miscreant. Bozo. Yes, <laughs> In the perfect of manner and do not hasting in reciting it and therefore we don't recite the quran by by doing this no we don't recite the quran by doing so that is what the quran is forbidding and encouraging the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to do what means singing or So ladies and gentlemen, this is the comedian I just, the joker, that's him. I'm going to play his last video and hear his challenge and I'm going to teach him again. He doesn't know the meaning of the word debate. So I'm going to help him teach him for free, University of Ghana graduate. I'm going to teach him the meaning of the word debate. He's crying, he's burning. I've just checked the comment section, about 500 comments. 
mostly by Salafia TV owned by Sidik. The guy, the same guy, Sidik Mushiriki Salafi Bozu. Uh, he's, he's burning correctional officer. Now mess and go up. You step he mistake. <laughs> Cause step live dialogue. I don't know messing ka up. Hey, that guy was a correctional officer. La ilaha illallah. Jika Tambi Muhammad Salis. Go and ask Muhammad Salis from Nigeria. I did a debate with him on Alaja Africa's TV. Go and ask Sarki Zaki. I did a debate with Majnoon, the Atarika, whatever, whatever. Go and check. Go and check South Africa. I did a debate with Fahim, a Sunni like you, Mushrik like you. International debate. Go and check. International debate with Muhammad Salis from Nigeria. Go and check. Right? You are an amateur who has never done a debate. No problem. Let me play like last video. I'm only bringing this topic to an end. So let me play your last video. Then people will listen to your hibijibis. Again, Baba Shuhai, please come out. In, I don't know how to tag again. People have tagged you. Tags upon tag. I have called you. Come out. We are going to debate on the Quran. Quran. You never called me. You have my number. It's public. Correctional officer number. Guys, who doesn't know my phone number? The correctional officer phone number. Who doesn't know it? Right? He never called me. If you like, let him swear. If he says call, he called me, inbox me, call me, wallahi me, God curse him. He never called me to say, hey, I'm calling him for debate. He sat far away in a glass house. Correctional officer is comfortably in a metal house. You say you called me. If you throw a stone, and I throw one. You can throw ten. When you were doing your videos, and you said I came commenting and I was laughing, I was laughing at the, the joke you were making. <laughs> I don't find you serious. You never did a debate in your life. So let me play your listen. And we are going to debate on the Quran. So now he says we are going to debate on the Quran. What is the topic going to be? Does he understand the meaning of debate? Listen what he said. You'll be given the Quran to recite. So that is the debate. I'll be given the Quran to recite. When we say recite, let me teach him. When you say recite, you are reciting from the memory, not given. If somebody is given the Quran, he doesn't recite it. He reads it. Bozo, dummy, learn English, university graduate, jackass. Come on. If somebody is given the Quran like this to hold, he doesn't recite it. He reads it. Dummy. To begin with, you, re you recite a page of the Quran. So you give me a Quran and I have to recite the page of the Quran. Oh, no problem. And we are going to do so. If you like, we can even recite the entire Quran. That's all the debates. <laughs> we're going to do recitation competition. That is not called a debate. So let's see the definition of the word debate. Let me help this bozo again. So when we say debate, I put it on the screen. Here. Debate. He's saying debate. I prefer dialogue. We can do debate, but I prefer dialogue. But let me show you why. So I'm putting the screen on the screen and showing you what it means with the word debate. So this is the meaning of debate. A discussion in which reasons are advanced for and against some proposition or proposal. So this is what we call debate. We don't do debate by coming to recite the Quran alone. We are reciting from page to page, just reciting to the people. Then they gain what? Then Baba Shraib is going to show you that, oh, I, he knows how to recite the Quran, oh, mashal, and then, and then what? What will the people benefit? Oh, mashallah, Baba Shraib knows how to recite the Quran. <laughs> we have it. He's going to Jannah. That's all. Huh. That's why I say you are an amateur. When we say dialogue, a literary composition in the form of a conversation between two people. Siddiq, Mushirikim Bozo. I'm giving you two options. We can do debate. We can do dialogue. But... Now I'm teaching you the meaning of the word debate. You don't know the meaning of debate. You say we should come and do recitation of a page of the Quran. If I'm given the Quran, I don't need to recite it. I have to read it, jackass. So now 
done with teaching you what debate means. So now let's listen to you. Calling you for a debate on the Quran, come out. We have a lot of platforms that can host you. If you want TV stations, it will be held. Just come out. So you are sitting far away. Correctional officer phone number is there on my page. Look, let me put it here. Maybe he's asking he didn't see it. This is correctional officer's number down there, here. Down here. <laughs> Allah, correctional officer. <laughs> Baba Shrive. Guys, look at the logo. You see, Baba Shrive, these shirts, they are coming soon. Red, black, blue, yellow. And this, so very soon, my cap will have the logo. Don't worry, inshallah. The mushriks, when they see this, it burns them to the core. You say, I'm a madman, but I'm living the best life. I live in the best, one of the best countries in the world. A madman speaks and you're offended. <laughs> I love how much I go, bro. Yeah. Now listen, he says he's calling me. He's sitting far away. My phone number is there. My Facebook is there. This guy unfriended me. He took me off his friend list. He used to be my friend. He so he sees whatever I do. He unfriended me. He told his people to unfriend me. No problem. I didn't need mushriks as friends. By the way, the same mushriks are my largest followers on TikTok. And they are my biggest fan. So try to check on TikTok. You see the comments. I love the comments. It's keeping going. Huh? I love it. <laughs> I love mushrik. Just in Finland. He said, I'm not just in Finland. Come, where I work, I'm the supervisor. I'm the boss of the branch I work. I can employ you. I even employ some of your mushriks. They work under me. Not just in Finland, I'm the debt of Finland. Come, where I work, I'm the supervisor. I'm not only the supervisor, I'm the manager of the branch I work. Come, ask about me. They will tell you about me. I'm not Najasa. I have better reputation than you, the bozo, who, is, who says he's a university graduate and yet doesn't know the meaning of according to, and yet doesn't know the meaning of debate, and yet doesn't even know the meaning of, uh, uh, how will I say, so-so and so. Oh, my God. No problem. Uh, come out. So your man said we should call you for a debate. We have said it in previous. We said, we said come, you are going to. Sidiq Salis, if you sit far away, you make videos, and in the video you say, come. And he couldn't even spell my name correctly. Baba, he wrote Baba. B-A-A-A-B-A. -A -A -B -A. That's what he wrote. Baba. He couldn't spell my name correctly. He used to be my, like, we are friends on Facebook. He added me, I added him. And he couldn't tag me in any of his videos. He didn't tag me, like, you know, to tag a person. He's telling his audience, tag him. What are you scared of? Tag me, invite me, I'll jump on it. The recitation you are saying, please, refresh your word. When you give somebody Quran, you don't say recite, you say read, jackass. Is, the, is, is it not the Quran you are boasting with, that you are bragging about? Is it not the Quran that you are bragging about? Baba, I don't know now. Charlie, my voice is done. Please, guys, um, please, so be tagging him for me, okay? He has been watching, and he comes to, uh, how do you call, call it, uh, react with it with an emoji, and then run. You understand? So he... When I come to react, with an emoji and run, let me tell you one thing. What there's nothing you will say, I've never heard it from your scholars, somebody who has done international debates. I've heard it for your scholars already. I've, I've done both local, meaning with Ghanaians and international. You have never done a debate. Okay, let's not come to that yet. Let him finish talking. He knows, he knows we are calling him. He knows. You are calling me, my phone number is there. You never give me a call. Sidiq, come on. I'm just a black boy like you. I don't bite. We are calling him. Baba, come out. Is it not the Quran you have been bragging about? Come in. I never brag about the Quran. All I do is I teach people the truth and tell them this is the way of God that I'm inviting you to. Hazi Sabili Adu'u Ilallah Allah Basiratin Ana wa Mani Tabani Wasuba Ana Lahi Wama Ana Amin al Mushirikin. I'm not among Ali Sunnah, Shia, Tijaniya. Uh, Hamadiya, Salafiya, Wahhabiya. No, I don't want to be a mushrik. I fear my God. So I'm a Muslim. Just as the Prophet says. Quran chapter 27 verse 91. He has been commanded to be of the Muslims. And I'm following his footsteps. So I'm a Muslim. I'm not a Salafi. I'm not a Sunni. I'm not a mushrik. Thank you. You just recite the Quran. You read the Quran. You understand? Or you want us to...
So guys, I play his video throughout the video. Listen to the last thing he'll say. Add money on top of it for you. Uh, what I'm based in Finland. You are based in Ghana. You say you want to add money. Listen, he's going to confess he doesn't have money. When we get sponsors, inshallah, we'll add money on top of it. So when they get, he gets sponsors, he will now add money. Now, I can now put money on board. <laughs> I don't need sponsors. I can put the money, my, saves, my savings, I can put it on board. Then we don't need sponsors. Then I will sponsor it. Then I whip you. We are not going to do any recitation, reading or something. Come, logic. I told you in my short videos. I will whip you with logic. Go and check my debates. Perfect. So this is what the bozo now said. I'm calling you, Baba Shuai. What did he say? What did debate did he say we should do? Did he say something logical in whatever he said? No. He never said we are going to debate on Dwalan. He never said we are going to debate on Tertil. He never said we are going to debate which sect and we have to follow. What is your Akida? He never said that. There are a lot of important topics your audience want to hear you you say you are educated university graduate you went to uh, you went to uh, zaria to alban sheikh albani to study here you went there you went here baba shrive i whip your ass mercilessly allah shirika kuta karo taka screen ina bozo akura where are you <laughs> <laughs> Baba Shribe is going to come to an end. Siddiq, Mushrik, Mushrik Mbozo, this is what I have to hear. You, Siddiq, you have never done a debate in your life. You never even debated even with Christians. You never debated with anybody. You never even did your debates in locally with the Sunni, with the Shia, uh, with the Shia, with the uh, Tijani, Ahmadi. You never did a debate. Nobody knows you. You are an amateur, right? So whether local or international, you have never done a debate. Number two, you can never translate a page of the Quran into English by yourself without referring to any Lisan al Arab or any book, any Tafsir al Qutubi or anything. I challenge you to that. That is a better debate. Right? If you can do this, hmm, you can translate a page of the Quran, just a page of the Quran. I'll give you a page. You translate the page of the Quran in front of me. You're not going to open anywhere. You claim you have studied Arabic or whatever, right? I'll give you. I will read the chapter you want. I'll read it. The chapter you want. Choose it. I will read the chapter. When I finish, you translate in front of everybody. You're not going to take any book. You are not going to go to Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Abbas, anywhere. You sit in front of the audience. Everybody's watching you. And you translate word for word in front of everybody. I will do the reading. When I finish, choose your chapter. I will do the reading. When I finish, you are going to translate it from beginning to end. This is what will happen. Without the opinions of your slave masters, you are going to do it because you didn't even know the difference between Dwalan and Garfield. Don't be a coward, please. Don't tell me, no, 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 no. Let's do it this way. No, 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 no. I've accepted yours. You give me the Quran, I'll take a page from the Quran. You choose it for me. I will read it. When I read, after finishing reading in Arabic, you will now translate it for the audience without referencing any other translation of any other book. You don't go to Yusuf Ali, anybody. You will translate it from Arabic to English. Audience are listening. You are not going anywhere. I will let you share your screen so that somebody is monitoring you. Huh? Monitoring you. Don't be a coward, please. My phone number is there. If you can do this, just like you are giving me condition, then we will debate. I can, I can call you for a dialogue without even giving you conditions. I need you. If you want, call me. I'll bring you on. If you want, I'll come to your platform. Go and ask Abdul Rashid, huh? the Ghana guy who, who was once based in Saudi Arabia. Go and ask him. He'll give you a gist. Baba Shrai, the correctional officer, Allah not messing up. I need scholars. I don't need amateurs. You will recite the Quran. You want to claim you know Arabic, you recite. Fine, I give you that. You can mean no Arabic, you can. No problem. My phone number is public. Be a man with balls and holla at me. Let's arrange. Sadiq Mushrikim Banza Bozu Dummy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the correctional officer. And I will mess them up. 
this is where I bring the topic to an end. I've done three hours, 30 minutes. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you to be exhausted. For those who don't have enough bundle, this is where I have to bring the topic to an end. I'll give him the rope. Let him do whatever he do. I'll pick his videos again and come back. Let him keep going Lisan al Arab. Let him go to Kurtubi. Let him go to Ibn Kathir. Let him go to Ibn Abbas. They don't have the tafsir of Muhammad alayhi salam himself. They don't have it. I've just taught you. You don't have the audacity to call him holy prophet. If you do, you are dumb. You are a mushrik. You are a fool. I just taught you Dalan. You don't know. Tartil. I taught you. You don't know. You refer to your scholars not knowing that they are human beings and they can err. It is only God. God does not err nor forgets. So why not rely on God instead of your slave masters? So ladies and gentlemen, this is where I bring my topic to an end by damaging these guys qualifications <laughs> and educational background claiming to be a university graduate proudly even writing it on his facebook pages he owns the salafia tv is pretending not to be him he's pretending somebody else is managing the page this guy is not rich enough to pay somebody to manage his page <laughs> he's burning he gave me a lot of uh, you know comments uh, don't worry so ladies and gentlemen, correctional officer has done with this bozo. If he step on the foot again, I'll mess him up again and teach him for free. And then, Akrobat, where are you? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, this is where I bring the topic to an end. I thank you all the audience. So this topic wasn't to come and teach my audience. I'm there to teach the mushrik, but I know my audience will benefit from it. My next topic I might arrange during the week. If I'm free during this week, I'll free, I'll come and teach you again. The questions you have asked me during the week, I'll come and answer. Correctional officer, I'm not here to tell you I'm the best or I'm the most knowledgeable. No, I'm just only here to help you to wake up your dead ass. That's all. But don't take me as an enemy. I don't hate the prophet. I don't hate God. I don't hate the Quran. What I hate is the garbage books. They are not part of Islam. Right? So ladies and gentlemen, Correctional officer is coming to an end. I will say, Subhana Rabbi Izzat Amma Yisifun, Wassalamu Ala Al-Mursaleen, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, and listen to the Mushrik, the Kafir, the Mushrik, once more. Wallahi, anyone who has any shakka, any doubt that this guy is a Kafir, that person, man, shakka fi kufri hi fahuwa Kafiru. Anyone who doubts that this guy is a Kafir, he himself is a Kafir. So there is no two ways of spreading your legs in doubt whether he's a Kafir or not. The moment you see anyone supporting this guy, it's a Kafir like him.